And greetings, world. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today we're going to be going back to Battletech on this lovely Tuesday evening from a nice and cool, at least for our area, South Florida. It's like all of 77 degrees outside, which is cool and nice for us. It's Fahrenheit, obviously, not Celsius, otherwise we'd be burning. Uh, so welcome, everybody. Uh, like I said, we're going to get fired up here with some Battletech. I did finally get my computer uh, properly repaired, so now I'm not worried about playing anything that's even remotely intensive. Granted, this game is not particularly intensive. When we played this last time, we did do one campaign mission, and I vaguely remember that we went up to one planet that had a whole bunch of missions on it. So I'm thinking we'll do a couple of those as a warm up since I haven't played this in at least like 10 days, if, if not a little longer. Granted, sometimes time gets a little distorted, especially when you're feeling like you can't necessarily play anything that's even remotely rigorous. Uh, but it was nice to beat East Book 1 and 2. So we, find, we got our first completed game uh, under our belt in the channel, and we're going to start working uh, more on Battletech. I don't think we'll beat the campaign of that tonight, but we should get a little bit closer. So far, every stream, I feel like we've done at least one campaign mission. So we'll see what happens. As of the moment, as we get started here, there's no reason to any kind of delay here. So we'll get ourselves fired up. Excellent. Make sure the game capture works. But so far, I've uh, tested out everything. Oops. We'll move that cable up there so it's not so in the way. Took a second for the actual game to load. I also lowered the volume because Eastbook 1 and 2 was a little on the loud side. So we'll see how the volume is initially. I may end up tweaking that. If it's too low, just let me know if I don't notice. But I'll, I'll try and pay attention to that just to make sure that we're in good shape there. Might even let the first thing go. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably a little soft. Probably soft. Let's adjust that ever so slightly to mm, nice, nice and gentle, nice and gentle. Of course, I have the focus on it off, so now it's not capturing the sound anymore. All right, there we go. That's looking a little better. Okay. Hopefully I didn't overcompensate and make it too loud. Again, if I did, feel free to just mention it in chat. So campaign load. Let's see where we are. Okay, yeah, we are on Mector. Good, that's about what I remember. We're already, 700, we're already 709 days into this, and I think this is the last campaign I completed, I think. And so that might be a good litmus test for how far along on the campaign we are. We're not closing it on the end, but we're now definitely more than halfway through. And the Oregon Civil War continues to rage on. We've already done one defense mission. That I think we did last time. We did the defense smithen mission. And we also did the invasion Itram mission. When we, and yeah, my, my main mech warrior is out of action, so we're going to have to Play with some of the other mech pilots but that might work out we'll give them some xp in fact why don't we take a look at the hiring hall and see if there's anybody worth hiring and eh, we don't have any kickstarter or legendary i think they call them ronin mech warriors this is okay we've got a decent war chest but let's do let's do a couple of warm-ups because especially oh yeah i really didn't want to do this canopian mission but that is going to make us some decent money. But we're already pretty good with the pilots. I don't think we have to do that. Show the flag, mid-level restoration of it. Okay, so that's going to be a... It's almost like an assassination. Oh, this is more of like an escort. And Oh, pirates are going to show up. We're not going to do that one. Nope, we are not. We're definitely not taking the field against that this might not be such a bad idea our mechs should handle the badlands pretty well 
We could do the attack and defend mission too. Although I'm surprised the max pay on that is so low. This might be a little... That's probably going to be tougher than it might be worth. So for the moment... Let's... Let's destroy a director at Lance and just do a patrol. I like this plan. This works out, yeah, because we need money. Because there's an item there that we're definitely going to want. Glitch, you can go in the in the Highlander for now. And in the meantime, Ice Tray, you're going to take the helm of the Marauder. Excellent. Do we want to substitute that Victor or this Warhammer? I don't think so, especially not for the Badlands. The Warhammer overheats as it is. We definitely don't want to take the Warhammer down, down to a Badlands mission. So yeah, we'll get this nice and started. Do a nice little warm-up since we haven't played this in a little bit. And away we go. And I and I really should have just played a little bit of this off stream. Like I could have easily just played one mission, made some money. I don't think that would have really impacted the playthrough. Although then I really couldn't have called it a complete playthrough. So it's probably just as well I didn't. But I could have easily... Hell, I probably could have even done some quick action just to get back into the... The thick of things. But anyway, so we believe there is a director at Lance operating on Mechdor within a region we control. All restoration operations are at risk as long as this Lance is allowed to move unimpeded. Control the area, find the enemy Lance, eliminate it. Honestly, this really kind of should be a milk run. Hopefully I'm not jinxing myself with that. Uh, Commander, the engine signatures I'm getting from these guys are bigger than I was expecting. Well, I jinxed it. Can you get eyes on the targets, Meyer? Are we deal What are we dealing with here? I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, be careful. <laughs> Great. So it's going to be a heavy lance. Let's take a look at terrain here. So they're going to be over here. All right. So if we come over here, we can go through this ravine and at least have this obstructing us so that they can't get line of sight. And then if we could spot them, I could fire some LRMs at them. Yeah, I like that plan rather than cruising over here in the field. I mean, there's there's a little bit of trees here, but I don't I don't like the fact that there's only a little bit of forest here, and then the rest of this is just wide open terrain. All right, we're gonna make way for that ravine. We're gonna make way for the for the ravine. Don't need to tell me twice. Acknowledged. Let's go that way. Heading out. Oh, we could. You know what? Yes, you get onto the high ground and move more. I'd rather have the movement out of you. So when moving, your mech can leave the field of battle. It just, you know, it's not, it's not any valid target for anything I can actually go to. But when strictly what? moving, it obviously can. On my we'll way. We'll just keep going that way. Aye, aye. You. Can just go this way. Maybe so. On it. Turns out there's nobody up here. Was gonna take a drink while they were moving, but too fast. Actually, let's just jump. Oh no, no. Sprint. <laughs> I read you, Commander. Yeah, I'd rather sprint. Moving the Atlas. Affirmative. Yes, Marauder, you move up there. Let's move. And you continue. Pull up the rear there, Medusa. Marvelous. Yeah, let's do that. We move probably out. will... Sp yep. I was yes, just about to say, the second we move... Oh, and we might even spot some mechs here. Nope. We don't actually... We haven't spotted any mechs. I might do that. That's an intriguing prospect. I think I would prefer to lure these guys in and kind of mess them up up here. So let's just move and be very bulwarked. Location confirmed. Now the Marauder. Mm, okay, we can't quite move as far over as I would like. Interesting that he can't see. So now this becomes interesting. Do I advance the Marauder or do I advance you over there? You know what? We'll just do that, even though that might invite a stray shot. 
And still not in woods, but I'm still bulwarked and guarded because we moved. I'm very okay with that outcome. We'll move up here. Roger. We'll let them go first. Let's see how this goes. Hey, XO, I've got a leopard inbound to the battlefield with Merrick markings. We expecting company? Great. Oh, and of course it's going to land right there. No, we aren't, Commander. Uh, re no, rather. No, we aren't. Commander, heads up. You may have additional hostiles headed your way. Interesting. We've got Merrick units inbound. So I wonder if the Merrick units will also shoot them? Yeah, I, I had a feeling. I was just inviting myself to a stray shot. It happens. So, but it did minimal damage because of all that sheer amount of protection I am at. So yeah, Medusa, you may open fire. Oh, um, fine. If I advance a little bit. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll just advance... And uh, I would rather have the 70 than 50. <laughs> Even a little closer. That works. And the blackjacks are already messed up. That will help us. So we're going to blow through this armor really quick. We may even destroy... Yep. We may even destroy a location already. Oh, yeah. And we did. Blackjack's really fucked up already. We got ourselves a nice shooting at shooting lane here um fuck fortunately there's really no good way i'm gonna have to leave cover to shoot that blackjack from here you know what i'm back here that might even be well mm. geez ice tray not really giving me a whole lot to work with here of course if i go there i could shoot it from there but i'm uncovered Let's reserve for now and just let them move. If I do that, I'd rather do it after they get a chance to move so they can't shoot me outside of cover. At the moment, I don't think they can even see me. Good luck. Yeah, I was going to say, with all the, but the evasion I had, not bloody likely. Okay, now I feel a little better taking that shot. From here. I think we will do that. Roger that. Let's just fire and see what happens. All right, but the torso's gone. Scored a critical hit. Good, good. Standing by. Okay. That's going to be direct line of sight, though. So, oh, but then I can only shoot the blackjack. All right, so I'm going to have to commit to this one way or the other. You know what? Let's good to go. Let glitch go here. Yeah, let's just have glitch advance shoot the blackjack. Cause so I may this blackjack may just get taken off the field right here. Let's find out. Here we go. Yep. I suspected as much. <laughs> that blackjack just it took way too much damage in the initial salvo. Commander. So now I will advance here. Aye, aye. Now I will use that precise shot. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely be using that precise shot. Uh, and I think what we're going to do, ladies and gents, is go for the headshot. Head destroyed. Problem solved. <laughs> Didn't have to worry about the hunchback. Might be some good stuff. All right. Told you monitoring restoration comes with payoff. Ah, that looks like walking salvage, lads. All right, so these guys are just opportunists. Makes sense. Mercenary commander, eject your people and leave the mechs and you'll be allowed to live. Yeah, that's not fucking happening, bro. <laughs> Shit. Commander, this just got complicated. Engage the new targets and I'll let our new <laughs> and I'll let our employers know their comms are compromised. <laughs> uh, so we got to worry about the Merrick units first. No big deal. It really, really, really isn't. Orders. So, yeah, we're going to go here. And let's see. I'm thinking the Griffin. All right, so we got three mechs. Why are there two? Hmm. 
Why are there two arcs to that one unit? Huh. It's different. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway. So, uh, I'm not firing the Shadowhawk. I'm getting my money's worth from either the Griffin or the Grasshopper. And I think the Grasshopper is my target because that fucking Grasshopper can absolutely murder us. And in fact, I may even do a precise shot and just try to take out the Grasshopper or at least severely damage that Grasshopper outright. Because 95% thanks to that targeting computer. That's a lot of damage that's going to get absorbed into that center torso. <laughs> That was worth it. Before it could even go. We already blew through all of its armor. Now the Phoenix Hawk is a Karita variant. For orders. Which... Yeah. Oh, well, that was weird. So I couldn't see the Phoenix Hawk for some reason. That's why the other... It must have been right there. I wonder why I didn't see it. Hmm. I still think this is the right play, though. It's either that or this. But I don't like that plan. Hmm. Could at least soak up an evasion. We're already pretty warmed up, though. But yeah, let's go. Let's go here. No problem. On my way. We always want to value, rather than being hyper aggressive. We do want to value. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we only have a twelve percent chance. I'm not. I'm not taking that shot. Let's let's take the shot with this and just see what happens here. Yeah, we'll take the stray shot. Perfect. Inflicted some heavy damage. So we got ourselves a nice skirmish. Ah, that's the heavy mech. But I'm not too worried about that quick draw from where it is. Good. So we've got a good round before the directorate forces really even join this skirmish. I'm thinking we can take out. Oh, damn. From where they are, I only really do. Oop, nope. Never mind. Perfect. Yeah, let's do that. That way we can spot everybody. And they're nice and clustered. We should get a nice stray shot. So even though that is complete garbage, even if we miss this griffin, I'm thinking I'm going to hit the grasshopper. And I may still go for the griffin anyway. So let's target off that medium laser. Good. Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Well, so we didn't get that headshot like I was going for. But we still blew off its fucking torso. Reporting critical hit. Gave ourselves a nice opening what round. Can I do for you? Let's see. Jump. Let's jump backwards. And yeah. Let's jump Ready? backwards. We've got great range with the Highlander. We want the Atlas to be what they generally focus on. They're all guarded. I guess really the question is. What's the most hurt? Actually, I think Griffin is the most hurt. Of course, I could also... You know what? 70. You know what? All right. We're going to multi-target. We're going to target the Grasshopper with most of the most of the shit. Or um, the Griffin with most of the shit. We'll target the uh, Grasshopper with the Gauze Rifle because if that hits the center torso, it kills it. Exactly. So fingers crossed. Right? Right, Nate? Because they suck. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Welcome. You get a Let's find out what goes on. Oh, ho, ho, we got we destroyed the griffin. Now, come on, center torso. Nah, all right. <laughs> Couldn't hurt. We had to go for it. How you doing, Knight? Ah, pop it on for a moment. Ah, tell Frank I said hi. That does look like a fun game. And uh, it's also, and thanks for showing me the, uh, uh, messaging me the, um, the promo for uh, 
Mech Warrior 5 clans. That should be interesting. Actually, I meant to uh, pop on my Discord to see if you wanted to, uh, at some point, play some Mech Warrior 5 on stream, but we could talk about the details on that uh, at some point later. But just to give you a heads up, I'll be I'll be floating that idea between uh, you and Warhammer. So I'm definitely looking forward to after I finish Battletech, playing that a little bit. I think that would be I think that would be pretty fun. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna nuke this this Phoenix Hawk. <laughs> we're we're gonna nuke this Phoenix Hawk right here, or the Shadow Hawk rather. Let's let's take this bastard out. But it looks cool. Good. That thing's dead. So yeah, we're having just a nice, so far, chill warm-up. Really? You are a lunatic. That is not a good plan. <laughs> that is decidedly not a good plan. Ready to get it on. I'm overheating as it is, so you know what? Fine. I'm actually going to cool off and do the same, but I'm going to do a lot more damage to you than you just did to me. <laughs> so how you doing tonight, Nade? And is this going to fire the LRMs? Nope, it's going to fire the medium lasers. Ooh. Oh, it's going to fire everything and miss with just about everything. Nice job. Nice. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if you saw, I ended up having to, uh, work on my computer to get it back. Oh my god. So many head hits. At least that one has got the cockpit mod. Because the Atlas generally does attract a lot of attention. But I hate all the head hits. Light damage. Holding firm. I still have to figure out what to do with the old GPU. Because if it is dying like I think it is, it's silly to, uh... Eh, yeah. Let's destroy the grasshopper. Oh, I can't... Well, we're not doing that. Hmm. All right, fine. Fine. Okay, yeah, I'm just shooting medium lasers, the SRM, and the LRM then. Fine. Let's see if we can... Get lucky and destroy this grasshopper. All right. Uh, no, that's the perfect place for you. Done. Because moving does generate a slight you. amount of um, heat. Uh, all right. So we're going to back up ever so slightly and we're going to multi-target. And we're going to shoot you with those. And we're going to wreak some havoc. Uh -huh. Oh, and we destroyed the vector crust. Come on. Man, we still haven't killed the grasshopper, but I what think we I knocked it over. Yep. Take it and like it. Excellent. So we beat uh, East Book 1 and 2 over the weekend. That was fun. That game was as good as I remember. I was very pleasantly surprised that I did that it wasn't just nostalgia. You little bastard. But I've got enough armor. I'm not really all that worried about it. But yeah, this Phoenix Hawk is just being an annoying harasser. What do you need? Okay. So how much do we need? 40? Perfect. Destroy the center torso. If you please. Attacking from position. Boom. I hope we can salvage that. <laughs> yep, as they do. That is, that is like... I mean, at least in that sense, that is what a good Phoenix Hawk will do. They're very maneuverable, especially the nun. <laughs> it blew off the fucking Phoenix Hawk's arm. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that makes sense. Let's just go here. 
and uh, let's let's kill this Phoenix Hawk. So precision strike. Boom. Oh, uh, yes. 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 <laughs> I think we will. We are going to put all of these things into the back. Good. <laughs> Problem solved. We can do this. Let's go. <laughs> well, we can salvage that. Yeah, it's the only problem with being clustered together. We're going to take some stray shots. But I still think that's better than being out in the open and taking full damage. So now. Waiting for orders. I think what I'm going to do here, we're just going to go here. And I may just shoot the Orion with the uh, LRM-20 and get a little out of the way. Because I am very much overheating. Unless... You know what? We could move over here and go out in the open and attract its attention. Could do that. Let's see. What does Seraph want to do? Or I could just go here and shoot it with some machine guns and some medium lasers and recuperate some heat that way. You know what? Let's do that. Heading out. Let's do that. Go in here. Perfect. We'll save on the other M20. Man. Yeah, fuck it. Open fire on that Orion. This is good. We'll just continue to attract its attention. Hey, Maxi, what's going on? I recommend winning. <laughs> fuck him off! <laughs> That's right. How you doing, Maxi? Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure. We'll just go here. We will advance ever so slightly. I think we will try to be efficient. Yes. <laughs> Do I go for glory here? You know what? No guts, no glory. Fuck it. Headshot. <laughs> yeah, we're just chilling, having some fun. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Have a good one, Nade. Good to see you, man. <laughs> yes, Commander. Oh yeah, that was perfect. Oh yeah, this quick draw is in deep shit now. Location. Control. So now we're in the mop-up stage of this particular operation. At some point, I'll uh, move it away. We'll do this. And precision strike. Yeah, let's just let's just try to end this right now. We'll go. We'll go to take out this quick... We might take out this quick draw. That's going to be a lot of damage. Nope. I hit the wrong locations. <laughs> so there's a more uh, pew pew actually require skill rather than just tactical combat version of this. It's called Mech Warrior 5. One of these days I'll actually uh, get to playing that. Uh, yes, let's go here. Maybe we can get our headshot with the Marauder. But I'm playing through this first. Mostly just like an XCOM style... Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to be hot. No more PPCs for you. AC5 and medium lasers. Acknowledged. Another shot. Perfect. Now the enemy gets to go. Uh, it's going to be a little harder to hit over there. What are you doing? Really? <laughs> be my guest. You could do that all day. <laughs> Receiving you. Ahem. What's up, boss? If you don't mind. Pivoting, that would be great. All right, can I fire that? Then yes. In fact, let's precision strike because Seraph is feeling particularly sadistic at the moment. <laughs> good night. I suppose that's a good lesson to learn. That's right, on a patrol, anything can happen. Let's debrief in orbit, Commander. Mission successful. It was really unnecessary to go for the low percentage headshot, but it was fun. And we do get more salvage opportunities because we destroyed less components. And we got to ignore the headshot. So let's take a look at the damage here. Yeah, I mean, we could complete some. So I could complete a Hunchback. What else did we get? Uh, we could complete an Orion. So 
thinking we'll complete the Orion. Let's see what other salvage we got. Any good plus salvage? Come on, lost tech. Big money. No, it's not going to give me any... It's not going to give me anything really, really, really good. Oh, all right, fine. I guess... I guess we'll settle for... Well, you know what? Now nah, we'll go for the Orion. We'll go for the two pieces of guaranteed Orion salvage, and we'll sell that. We'll go max money. Did it give me any other good stuff? Nah, all right. So yeah, my weekend's going pretty well, or my week's going pretty well so far. I continue to feel better ever so slightly. Last week, I think I, um, when I was working on my computer, I stretched uh, a little wrong. I stretched out wrong and uh, kind of irritated one of the muscles in my back. I didn't irritate my neck, but I uh, irritated a muscle in my back because they're not used to really stretching a whole lot. Ready to fight, Commander. And, uh, oh, right, we got the Orion Fa V instead of the uh, K model. So the K model is the standard one. But, um, so yeah, it has additional mem uh, weaponry, but it sacrifices armor, so they tend to die a lot easier, which in this game is really not a good idea. Let's send that down. Uh, that's my Star League Phoenix Hawk, so that thing's fucking awesome! Confirm that. Let's sell. Maybe we can actually sell. So that was a good warm-up. <laughs> we'll definitely take that. Oh, we already had a quick draw. I should have sold that before. Let's sell it now. Marvelous. We had six million sea bills. Let's go to the store. Oh, right. We were already at the store. If I only had a brain. Ooh, right. We could buy the Black Knight and get a shit ton of double heat sinks. That is super tempting. But I think we, yeah, that's what we really want. That is what we really want. Okay. Yeah, there's some good shit in here, but that's that's the cream of the crop. So we could buy that now. We're doing it. We're buying the gauze rifle. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's you know it's still it's get it's a little cranky because it's still not a hundred percent, but yeah, it's dev it's it's definitely better. It's way better than before the surgery. <laughs> so yeah, a little you know baby steps, right? Baby steps. What is the nine S? Oh, I guess it trades, uh... Ah, it trades some of its already subpar armor for more weaponry. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, the 9S is not good. The 9B is actually better. It's a better mech for that. This is a nice mech, but there's... Um... There's no way we're going to be able to afford that. The only question is, do we do another mission and try to afford this Black Knight? And for the mechs that we have, we wouldn't actually field the Black Knight. <laughs> Might as well go all in and become a cyborg while you're at it, right? Oh my goodness. I like to consider myself a cyborg now that I have artificial discs in my neck. It, it counts. It counts. So, <laughs> so yeah, I really don't think... I think if I ended up spending the money for this, number one, we'd need like five or six million sea bills. And I just don't see me fielding it. If I bought this, it would be for the double heat sinks. Although the double heat sinks are worth it. Well, let's take a look at some of these missions here. And do we do the contracts? So we could do this attack and defend and get a shit ton of salvage. So that is, it is certainly that is certainly a choice. The menu we could do a capture base. Let's see, what's this show? Show the flag. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know why this is so expensive. So this is going to be an escort mission, but it ends up turning into a battle. That's probably why it's so valuable, because we have to keep her alive. I don't know. <laughs> Recycled Seraph, right? <laughs> what do you think, Maxi? Escort a restoration official, blow up a facility, or capture a facility, rather. Or an attack and defend kind of war zone type of uh, type of uh, nonsense. Any any feelings one way or the other? This will end up being pseudo a pseudo escort mission, which is a battle. This is simple capture a location, and these end up being complicated affairs where you have to protect a base, but also attack another base. Help the guy, sure. All right, perfect, perfect. We're gonna do this one. Show the flag. Let's do it. We're gonna make a shit ton of money on this. And this will be the last of our warm-ups, and then we'll do then we'll do our 
our um, campaign, our actual story mission. Do we go with our... Ah, oh, that's why they kind of fuck us. So they take away... So this will be the first time I've ever done this. So that, actually, it's a good choice, Maxi. Uh, all right, so we got our VIP. Oh, and she sucks balls. Look at these pilot scores. Holy fuck. Oh my God, she's going to be useless. Oh, she's going to be fucking useless. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, fine, whatever. Let's see, do I... You know what, we're gonna substitute Medusa. We're gonna send him in instead of Ice Tray. And we're gonna still put him in the Marauder because the Marauder, with its uh, special command module, battle computer thing. And I'm not even seeing where it is. But once we get into the mission, uh, I'll show. I'll kind of re-explain re my logic of bringing the Marauder rather than the archer uh but that will give the griffin essentially an extra 10 percent armor which it's gonna fucking need because it's probably gonna get shot at by literally everything but i still like our chances with this so fuck it no guts no glory let's see <laughs> this is gonna be the first time i've tried this mission i'm surprised i've never seen this before actually i am kind of surprised i've never seen it but then again i think in previous playthroughs i haven't stuck around the restoration planets all that often, I usually venture into a lot of the local government areas between the Oregon Reach and the Magistry of Cannabis, and I tend to do most of my farming for sea bills and uh, excavating parts and salvage up in that kind of region. So maybe I maybe this is one of those missions that only kind of randomly generates, or either that, or I just luck of the draw. I didn't really see it all that often. So yeah, we're going to protect this mid-level restoration official. And yeah, Darius is summation here. On one hand, the Griffin could probably take care of itself, given the kind of opposition they're likely to run into out here. On the other hand, any official who thinks personally patrolling is a good idea may not be the best pilot around. Yeah, she sucks. They used the same uh, graphic for Charybdis in that one mission. I suspect this will be a waste of your time, Commander. No, you're going to be glad you hired me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. I'm sorry. I couldn't even finish that sentence with a straight face. We're being paid to accompany you. If there's no fighting, we got paid to stretch our legs and take in the sights. Hey, XO? <laughs> right on cue. I got multiple blips here. Looks like Directorate Livery. In that case, Commander, we're weapons hot. Keep that VIP alive. I'm listening, you know. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. <laughs> When it's time to evac, Commander, I'll pick you up here. Hey, can you even hear me? Is this thing on? How do I tell if my radio is working? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. So at least they tell you in very, very uncertain terms how much of a shit show this is about to be. <laughs> uh, we are definitely going to be keeping her moving as much as possible. The more evasion she has, the better. If they can't even hit her, all the better. Highlander, let's... I think we're just going to jump over here. So we've got to destroy the Directorate forces and the Griffin must survive. What I suspect is going to happen based on the layout of this and the fact that there's a future evac zone, we probably have to destroy a Lance and then there's going to be reinforcements that show up and then we'll have to get to the evac before the reinforcements kill her. That's, that's, that's Seraph's guess. Let's find out. If I'm right. Hemoth, yes. Run to, you know what, actually. Yeah, run into the woods. It's On fine. And you know what, that works. We'll have you scout. Well, I think Medusa has sensor lock. That may work out. That's right, one of these days I gotta install Overwatch. Give that a try. I end up redeeming so many, like, level up packs just from watching you and Saram. <laughs> I think I could get to like level 10 just by like starting the game. <laughs> yeah, we're going to reserve already. It's going to be awesome. I really do also have to install Warframe. I ended up picking up a bunch of stuff for Warframe thanks to uh, thanks to Amazon Prime Gaming and all the all the drops that came through for that. Yeah, now I'm really glad I had all that evasive on there. So much like, again, much like the tabletop, the more 
hexes you're traveling through, yep. the harder you are to hit. Yeah, we're going to keep you out of harm's way. I think I can get you to a sixth evasion tip, but we're going to go over here. Oh my god, those are putrid numbers. I cannot believe that. 35% to hit with anything. She's lucky if she hits even with one of those. Holy smokes. Here we go. Should do it now and play the April Fool's event. All right. It's a game mode where you uh, get new hero patches and they're all just insane. Nice. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. I'd, I'd heard something about an April Fool's event. And I was like, oh, yeah, there was something about that. Uh, okay, we're not going to fire, fire the LRM-5. But you know what? We'll at least shoot this and see if we could at least work out Acknowledge. This. Good. All right. You hit with all three. Nice. Good. The VIP did something. Yay. It might be the only one. And I had to do, I had to use morale to do it. That's okay. With all the freaking evasive that she has, it's very unlikely they do a whole lot of damage. They're going to have to basically take all of their turns Ready for order. to, um, I'm not going to overcommit to that. I'm just going to cruise over here. Copy that. Let's cruise up here. And I think. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to shoot at that assassin. I don't like the idea of all that, but. Yeah, sure. Maybe we could take out this assassin outright. Except Medusa missed a whole bunch of times. Oh, but we still hit enough for that matters. T Orb, for example, could put his turrets on your teammates' heads and it will sit on the teammate and move with them until it gets destroyed. That sounds amazing. Holy shit. Good to go. Let's jump. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Can I jump in any way where I can attack both of you? Yes. So here it is. Perfect. I know exactly what I'm going to do fly. here. We're going to jump over here. It's absolute chaos and it's beautiful. <laughs> We're in a multi-target here. We'll multi-target with that. I'm not even going to fire those and we'll do breaching shots with both. Boom. Breaching fire shot. Shoot them down, Commander. Full damage. Fuck your defensive. There you go. Blew off its right arm outright. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. <laughs> I love her smack talk. Yes, Commander. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just, let's just come out in the open and see if we can get them to shoot at the Atlas. <laughs> she doesn't have breaching shot, but I'll do a lot more damage to that dragon than I will that defended uh, assassin. So let's just do this for now. I'll probably have her shoot the assassin next turn. Yeah, there it is. Tracking an inbound blip. Coming in fast and low like they're making a drop off. Knew it. Keep us updated, Meyer. Called it. Oh, of course they're going to be right there. All right, so I definitely need to have the VIP jump away from that freaking drop zone. Oh, good. They're not even firing at the uh, VIP. Perfect, perfect. This is good. So we'll have the VIP go first. I'm not going to have her waste a precise shot, but we will have her... You know what? I'll be shooting. Actually, yeah, I'll just Technology. I'll just have you shoot the dragon. That works for me. Let's see. Will you be of any real value? Yeah, why not? Fire. Acknowledged. Oh, we'll take damage. <laughs> she actually hit his head. <laughs> I've been meaning to stream during the event, but in the evenings I'm just like meh. I'll relax and watch something instead. <laughs> I I hear you, man. It is nice just to like chillax and um On it. and just veg out. There have been some fun streams too. Let's see, I probably all right. Oh, the assassin went right. Let's. Well, I'm gonna have to cool off anyway. I'd rather shoot the assassin now while it's vulnerable. 
Let's do it. Yep, perfect. Blew off its left leg, knocked it down. It's now easy pickings. Yeah, we're gonna pick on that assassin. They're usually so hard to hit. Oh, another dragon. So dragons are a nice heavy mech. Wow, you actually hit a, you hit a lot considering the griffin's evasiveness. Nice shot, dick. What can I do for you? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Let's jump here. Man, I feel like I should pick on that assassin and try and finish it off. Let's see, you know what? That's what we're gonna try and do. I am going to. Because we have to, we have to destroy this lance, and once we destroy these three mechs, we can make our way to the evac zone. I'm liking this plan. Okay. This is what we're, this is what Seraph's going to do. Multi-target. Sarah, yep, target that and hope it hits the center torso. Because if it does, the assassin dies. At the very minimum, this dragon is going to be a very fucked up mech. So yes, we're we're right now we're just doing a uh, random mission. So the priority missions are the story missions. And yeah, that's kind of the end goal. I'm going to mark this particular game as complete once I finish the campaign. No problem. I've got but even when the campaign is done, there's like we could continue just playing because there are flashpoints, which is a DLC. And uh, ooh, maybe, maybe, no, that was the right leg. But you know what? Once we destroy that right leg, this thing's also dead. So... So... <laughs> Alright, let's destroy the dragon because the Atlas has so much firepower, I'm gonna mop the floor with the dragon. It's, it's, it's just over. And I think because this should be initiative delayed, the VIP should go before the assassin. I should be able to jump with her and get a free called shot on it. I'm banking on that. Let's destroy the dragon. Good night. Firing. Yep. Yeah, I did not think that dragon could sustain the sheer offensive uh, pounding that that Atlas can deliver. Commander, I've kind of eyes on another restoration lance. I repeat, I repeat, a fresh wave of hostiles has entered the AO. Yeah, we knew they were coming. Oh, and they brought an awesome and a rifleman. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, then, this did just get interesting. If they want to throw more bodies at us, that's fine by me. Our employer is paying a bonus for your uh, extra kills, and I'd be all too happy to collect. So I guess it depends on how this battle goes. We do have cover, and it's going to take them some maneuvering to get to us. The problem is that locust is going to be really annoying. I was right. Ooh, but so could he. Okay, done. We're going to rotate over this way, and yes, I well, okay. I just attack with him. Take away two PPCs. Good. Yep, perfect. Good, good. Let's move. Perfect. I know I kind of wanted to see, heat-wise, what the story would be. So let's go over here, and we're going to shoot its uh, right leg, and that's going to incapacitate the mech. It's got 80 left. I feel like we should be able to do this because that's that's 115 damage. So if we hit, yeah, I feel like we should be able to do this. Let's do this. Oh, and even if one of them misses, as long as it hits the center torso, this mech is fried. Let's go for it. Cage. Yep. Excellent. Woohoo, salvage. Get neutralized. Damn straight. Nice shot, Medusa. Yeah, these are new to the AO. They're probably just going to move and brace. So I really should have this entire round to work with. Yeah. Now we're getting you the fuck away. Mm. Yes. You really can't do much over there, but at least even if she misses, we're not gonna fire with the large laser or the medium laser. 
but we can fire with those do a little damage to the dragon and minimize and take away at least one of those evasives although the dragon may go now yeah it did but that's fine no surprise there ah it's kind of hoping well at least the medium laser missed sucks that the auto cannon hit i think it was only an ac5 rather than an ac10 though so it's not too bad awesome is going to be a problem That awesome is definitely going to be a fucking problem. What I may do... In fact, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to go for a little bit of cheese. And we're going to hope for the best. So here's... Here's what we're going to do. No. Because it's got... Yeah, you know what? New Waiting for Actually, orders. let's advance this far. Can I get... Yeah, no, I really can't. But... Oof. Yeah, the recoil on that is brutal. I hear ya. I know what I'm going to do. I know how I'm going to do this. Okay. That rifleman is a real problem. But I think what we're going to do instead is let's just jump here Let's put as much ordnance into that dragon as possible, and I will shoot the rifleman and the awesome with you the gauze that. rifle and the LRM-15 accordingly. Multi-target. You with most of it. You're going to take the gauze rifle, and you're going to take the LRM-15. Let's see what happens. Uh -huh. Dragon should get severely damaged from that. Perfect. We blew through armor in one location anyway. Ah, oh, you missed with you missed the rifleman. That's alright. And we'll at least get some damage in on the awesome to start things off. Commander. You will advance. And I am going to shoot you with everything except the autocannon 20. Because with the autocannons, again, the recoil penalty kicks in for every subsequent round you're firing that weapon so by not firing it this round number one we're not going to generate nearly the amount of heat and then next round i can attack that awesome and i can try for the headshot because the autocannon 20 shoots twice so we get two chances to take out its head outright uh no i don't want to do that i just want to shoot the dragon with all that acknowledge I'm going to try to get an easy shot or an easy kill on the awesome by going for the headshot with the autocannon 20. But even if I don't get the headshot, at the very least, the autocannon 20 hitting the awesome twice will do a severe amount of damage. I'm not really even going to worry about that locust. The locust doesn't have enough offensive punch to really do any damage to these mechs. So that's the good part. I don't think I can do a whole lot here. But I might be able to knock over the dragon, or at the very least, I can keep her out of harm's way. No, because the rifleman's going to spot them, so they're still going to see her. The problem is if she dies, it's game over for me. So... We have to play this game. All right, let's let's do some damage. Let's at least do some more damage to the dragon. We'll take it. Now, I had a feeling they would still focus fire on her. This is good for me. They're essentially wasting their turns shooting and missing her a lot. Oh, yeah, now we get to knock over... Now we get to knock over the dragon. I think. The problem is this fucking marauder just overheats so quickly. Well, we could hit it with one PPC. We'll take it because we're going to knock over this dragon. Fuck it. Just oh, Yeah, well, we knocked it over anyway. It lost its leg. Target. Hit. Yeah, that mech has gotten complete. <laughs> that mech got its ass kicked. 
So I might have Glitch go for a headshot on the... No, it depends on what happens here. Interesting that the Awesome is going already. Yeah, the Awesome, with all those PPCs, it could just do so much damage. It can debuff you to hear Helen back. So let's see what's going on here. All right, we got an ace pilot and the rifleman. That's good to know. This works. Okay. Good to go. Yes, you are. Let us. Yeah, that kind of sucks that it's in trees. Maybe I should go for the rifleman instead. At this point, what can the? Oh, the dragon doesn't even have any weapons left. We destroyed all of its weapons. See, it's one of my gripes. <laughs> this is a great game. Uh, it really, really is. But in this case, what is this pilot doing? It can't, it cannot do damage. All it can do is make me take some turns to do some damage to it. And that's really all it can do anymore. Um, it really, it has no other purpose any longer. <laughs> it just doesn't. Ah, uh, it technically is an LRM-10, but it doesn't have any ammo for the LRM-10 because the ammo was in the torso and we destroyed it. Anyway, I definitely know I'm going to go over there, so uh, that'll give me Seraph a chance to figure out what I'm shooting at. But because she's not a good gunner, I can't multi-shot with her. The real question is... What do I want to try to absolutely demolish? And I think we're going to try to take out the awesome in one fell swoop. Let's do it. Nope, we didn't do it. We still hurt it. We did get a headshot. Who knows, maybe enough... <laughs> maybe enough hit the head we didn't. Solid connection on that one. But that's okay. If even one of those AC-20s had hit it, that awesome would be off the field. And the awesome is the most dangerous threat, although that rifleman is a very close second. Oh, I see what the dragon's going to try to do. The dragon's going to try to do a... A, um... Waiting on you, Commander. The dick. The dragon's going to try. Emphasis on try here. <laughs> to uh, to do a melee attack against me. Little does it know I don't give two shits. Let us try to take out this rifleman. We should have enough offensive capability to chew through all of its armor. I'm just going to stand put and see what we can do. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we hit a lot of different locations, but we still managed to do it. What's the locust doing? Whatever. <laughs> nice try. I think we will need? once again jump all the way. Yeah, I don't like that plan. Definitely don't like that plan. <sighs> okay, let's just jump all the way over here. You know what? Yeah. No, that's a waste. That is a fucking waste. Man, I really can't do much to you other than use you as a decoy, can I? It's really all you're good for, isn't it? Alright, you know what? I'll have you jump. Maybe I'll shoot the large laser and see if I can have you hit the locust. That's, I think that's probably all you're good for. There we go. Well, at least you did damage to the locust. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Fucking marauder. All right, you know what? Let's just do that. This may seem a little silly to go this exposed, but because we've got the rear arc on the dragon. It doesn't have any defensive towards him. So. We might do it as long as it's the same location. Let's improve our chances, shall we? Just to make sure it doesn't hit an arm or something stupid from back there. Ah, oh, but he missed with a laser. 
We had him. We had him if he just didn't miss with the laser. Say lovey. Receiving you. You know what? Let's cool off and destroy this dragon. Copy that. It's over. Uh. Boom. It's not dead? There it goes. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. All right. The primary targets are down, Commander. You can evac at any time. Yep. So if we wanted to, we could make our way to the evac zone. But considering where we are, and we've already destroyed one of them, it's still four on three. Wow. You hit all three times. That sucked. Damage minimal. But I still like our chances. So let's go for salvage. Let's see if we can really fuck these guys up. Yeah, let's take out. Let's try to take out the awesome here. Hello, cat. Hi, Cleo. Who's a good girl? My cat showed up at my feet. You know, kitty kitty. And it looks like that got spread out pretty well. Like that good girl. Trying to pet her with my foot. Good. With mixed results. Hello, kitty kitty. You're a good kitty. She caught something much more mundane. Just a, no just a normal beetle today. Couldn't save it in time. But. Yeah. So it goes with this cat. <laughs> Same thing. Max... Uh, eh, you know what? I'll shoot the awesome. Just to whittle away its evade. Just to whittle away its one evasive. Ooh, it hit its head, didn't it? Nope, it didn't. It just hit the center core, so I think. Wow, going for a melee hit? Well, that sucked. At least that mech isn't mine. That would have been an expensive... Repair. Reporting internal damage. Oh, they made her unsteady. That was the whole damage to the left arm that has all of its weapons in it. That's that's great. That's mean? that's just been fucking fantastic. Oh, whatever. All right. Let's uh. Okay, we can't shut the. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Let's just shoot the awesome shot. from this direction. Yeah, that awesome being a heavy mech can just... It is well armor. It's not only got a really good offensive punch. Now I got to worry. Because it's going to take a beating. Because it lost all of its evasive thanks to that freaking melee hit. That sucked. Alright, you know what? Douchepotamus. Yeah, let's advance... Hey, Deep Fry, how are you, man? We're playing some Battletech tonight. Yeah, why not? And we'll go for the headshot, because why the hell not? At the very least, we are going to completely devastate this awesome. Well, we destroy it, we cord it anyway. <laughs> Let's hit him hard. Enemy down. Now then. Good to go. I think. Jump. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. I elite. I soar. I am indeed well. My week is going well so far. We're gonna shoot the assassin with everything we're in good range of. And we're gonna shoot that locust. With those instead, wow, we still didn't really get all that great, but whatever. Oh, because it's got a, a lot of evasiveness. That's okay. Let's see what happens. Shot, I'm thinking this assassin is not going to like all these shots in its back. Wow, it has survived it. I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> that was a nice Valvo. 
<laughs> now the locust knows what it, what it feels like to lose all its evasion. The locust still should go first. Even with the initiative penalty? Yeah. But now it doesn't move nearly as fast. That locust is dead meat. Kitty kitty. I should actually set up my other webcam so I can actually get a good view of Cleo down here. Oh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, this poor locust. I'm here. This poor stupid locust. <laughs> We're gonna death from above the locust. Mario jump style. Normally I wouldn't do this with any of my mechs. But we've got their mechs to play with. I don't really give a shit if this if if the VIP's mech takes damage to the legs. We don't have to pay to repair it. This is what a jump this is what a death from above looks like. <laughs> it is normally a Oh, look at that. We got it. We, we got an achievement. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Ah. oh, it was great. <laughs> okay, that was a little scary. Internal structure damage. So I guess uh, one of the legs took so much damage that she actually fell over from that. But uh, like I said, normally I wouldn't even attempt that uh that little maneuver but um but yeah normally in tabletop and this game i would consider it an act of desperation just because again you take you take damage doing that attacking from position yeah. oh we only destroyed its right arm huh well this assassin isn't long for this world behemoth standing by punch the shit out of this assassin and make it dead <laughs> Where is my cat? Oh, she is. Targeting for physical attack. And good night. That was fun. Good suggestion, Maxi. Commander, the area has been cleared. Darius is giving me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. Mission successful. It's a beautiful thing. And. We bought ourselves a really nice gauze rifle so we can take a look at the Highlander and see what kind of changes we want to make to it. So our VP got injured. We don't really care. He has got most of those kills and we could take a look and see what good salvage we got. So we could complete an assassin. Although I'm thinking we'll probably take one of these really good that's really tempting. We already have one, but it's still good to take those. Oh, we got to take this gyro. Holy crap. That is such an awesome salvage drop. Oh boy. That, my friends, was awesome. Essentially, what this gyro does is it's a gyro upgrade. It, do it takes three slots, but it doesn't weigh anything. And it essentially, for lack of any better explanation... It adds a plus three penalty to get hit, which is essentially translates to like three free evasion pips that can't ever be taken away. It is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, we're taking that. We're, we are definitely taking that. And we'll take the dragon salvage just to guarantee we make some money. And ooh, we still got a good SRM2 out of the deal. And we picked up, oh, we picked up a lot of dragon salvage so we can do that next time. And we got some awesome salvage. So, uh, I've been playing. I've been playing a bunch of V's. I'm guessing, I'm guessing you've been playing East. Right? Or am I, or am I guessing wrong? I've been playing V6. Six Vs. <laughs> Do I have chat settings set to block something? It's taking a second to generate because I probably have never picked up a dragon before. So it has to tell me what it is. Yep, there it is. It's a beefy machine that could take a serious beating, but tends to be a little bit right on weaponry. It moves fast for a heavy mech, though, which makes it well suited to closing for melee attacks against slower targets. Uh, yep, and we're gaining more XP. So let's go. Let's upgrade. 
let's upgrade. Oh, perfect. We can upgrade. Training confirmed, Commander. Granted, that's helpful. Waiting for orders. So yes, let's. Um, I don't want to go with the indirect fire penalty, but yeah, let's just go with the health. Why not? Just to make sure you don't die. We will complete you. That works. You didn't gain any, but you have certainly gained some. Let's go with breaching shot because breaching shot is awesome. That's when um, if we only hit it with one, it goes through and does full damage. This is nice. This is very nice. We'll take the indirect minus three indirect penalty so that you're really good with that. We already did that. You're maxed out and life is good. I uh, tried to link the Steam page on. Oh, and it didn't, um, and it didn't let you paste, uh, paste links. Yeah. Yeah. Twitch, Twitch likes to do that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, not you obviously, but bots just brigading channels and posting spam links or why we can't have nice things. You know how that goes. So let's take a look at the base here and we shall now modify our Highlander because ooh, we got some nice, nice toys. So we're going to take away the gauze rifle and the gyro and we are going to pop in. Still don't have an ER small laser, huh? That's unfortunate. Let's see what else we want to do here. Let's go to equipment and let's put in that plus three hit defense we just picked up. We didn't even have to buy it. That was awesome. We still don't have another ER small laser. That would be really nice. Then our Highlander would be in really great shape. That would be that would be absolutely glorious. Look up uh, VVVVVV on Steam. Oh, I will. Oh, that's the actual name. Perfect. I will do that. I will. In, I will do that. Indubitably. And now Seraph's OCD is going to kick in. <laughs> it really shouldn't even matter, but you know, here we are. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So we still now we just gained two freaking tons. That's why this gauze rifle was so valuable. We can now do. We can now improve this mech qualitatively uh, to such a, a, a dramatic, uh, dramatically improved degree. We, where are my heat sinks? Oh, we only have the normal heat sinks, huh? Well, I could put another heat sink on there, but I'd really rather not. I could put another, I could buy an exchanger, actually. We could put another exchanger on this guy. That we could do, but I like the idea of adding armor first and foremost. Unless there's something we could do. Do we have a better, do we have a better LRM 15 yet? I don't think so. That plus, the plus three mod, mod, uh, variant doesn't add the damage. So the damage essentially allows us to get an LRM 20 punch, but in an LRM 15 box. Let's take a look at the SRM 6. Do we have a better SRM 6 to pop in there? No, we still have the plus four damage. There's, I think there's an SRM six, uh, three, three tier one. Well, let's check the store. Maybe there's a better one. But no, but no. Maybe the black market. Let's check the black market. I mean, we could put a small pulse laser in there, but that's not what we want to do. All right. Yep. We're we're kind of out of luck with that. But what we will do is let's. Because we do jump around a decent amount, so let's improve its back armor. Do that. We already have max leg and arm armor. Let us improve that. Hem, thank you. All right, so that's one ton. So what we could do is we could just put a heat sink in there right now as a placeholder and then when we pick up a double heat sink somewhere i can just swap it out for the double heat sink and again improve the mech's ability to sink heat even more although highlander really doesn't generate a whole lot of heat but we're already starting to close in on max armor so i kind of at a loss of what else to kind of pop in on this guy i mean could pop in an arm mod 
Actually, we could pop in an arm mod that takes up weight. You know what? Let's check the store. Normally, I don't invest in arm mods because... It's just usually not worth the weight, but considering we're now at a surplus thanks to that gauze rifle. So that's... Wow! Well, we could do that. So it would take five slots, but it would weigh the one ton, and we could improve the sheer punching ability of the Highlander by plus 60. It's worth looking at. It, it's, it's worth at least thinking about don't think I like the idea. Yeah, I, I... Well, no, we could put it in over here. We can move the double heat sink over. So we could do that. We could do that. That would be fun. That would be fun. Hmm. All right. Fine. Let's do it. It's half a million sea bills, but we could afford that. Let's do it. I don't think this is a particularly smart design decision, but it's fun. <laughs> so now if we punch something, <laughs> um, instead of doing, <laughs> instead of doing 115 damage, we now do 175 damage to one location plus the small laser damage. Uh, yeah, uh, if the Highlander actually does come within range and for whatever reason I'm looking to vent some heat, that is an absolutely devastating melee hit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Okay, yeah, I guess we're done then. <laughs> Pack it up, boys. We're done here. Get it in the schedule. So let's take a look. This already had a pretty decent gyro in it that has plus two hit defense. Good. Let us now proceed to the Marauder, which has a heat sink and an exchanger in its center torso. So we'll need to modify that. But considering the Marauder ends up improving the overall. Yeah, let's move that. Yeah, we'll just move it into Lance Command mod. And now let's make the Marauder tougher to hit. That is an absolutely... This is another component to this game, again, uh, for anybody jumping in that, that hasn't uh, seen any previous episodes. There's a lot of... Um, there, there's a lot to the game other than just the tactical combat portions. You really do have a lot of options as far as customizing and building out the mech. The problem with the Marauder is its base, the non-royal version anyway, the one I'm dealing with here, is with having PPCs in it, it overheats really, really, really quickly, even with this exchanger. It, it just it just does. As we find double heat sinks, though, we could start substituting these three. And if we pop three double heat sinks in here instead of these, it'll manage that heat a lot better. We just got to find double heat sinks. Like if we bought that Black Knight, that would put us well on our way. But in the meantime, Logged we'll and take open. that. Be and I think we're good here because there's nothing else to do with the archer. We will, however, send that dragon to storage so that we can sell it. Let's sell the dragon. Perfect. So the dragon essentially paid for the arm mod that we kind of splurged on uh, and then some. So let's take a look. We, yep, we have to go defend Panzer. So we may as well do that because the contract itself pays for the travel to Panzer. Yeah, it is really nice how intricate you get. And there are mods to this game to have, granted, I haven't played with those mods, but I am familiar with a number of mods that add functionality so in the tabletop, you could also really get granular as far as what engines are in the mechs. Now, I don't know if in lore you're really allowed to change mechs, mech engines or not. I know RDM didn't allow it. Well, RGM, because it was it was mechware. So he didn't allow us to change the mech, the mech engines. So I suspect that it was um, 
that in lore you really can't swap out the engine because if you even have an XL engine, which weighs half the amount of an of a normal engine, so you could save ridiculous amounts of tonnage with an XL engine. Yeah, we're gonna travel to Panzer here. We're doing it. So Panzer is under attack by the Torians, and we've been called in to help. Uh, so in tabletop rules and with that mod that I'm talking about, the engine itself would take up slots in the mech. And so if you if you end up rolling on the critical table to hit a mech, you could potentially get critical hits on the engine. And if you get critical hits on the engine, you could potentially just cripple the mech outright by destroying the engine. All right. Work on Argo is complete. Unfortunately, I don't think we can afford any other upgrade at the moment because that mech upgrade, that would be really expensive. Although we're going to make money off of Panzer. But let's see, recreation. Let's let's just do the arcade for now. Sure thing. It'll That's much more affordable and we'll be able to afford the other Argo upgrades after Panzer. We're going to make a shit ton of money on Panzer. But yeah, this is a good time while we're doing travel uh, for me to reminisce about playing the tabletop version of it. So if you get the XL engine, the problem is it expands into the left and the right torso. And then you have critical slots over there. So if you lose a torso with an XL engine, it essentially counts as critical hits to those slots. And you could lose your engine just by losing a torso. So the problem with the XL engine is, at least I think it, at least if I'm remembering the rules correctly, it's been a long time since we since I played Battletech. Good, all all our mech orders are done. Renegade will be healthy by this point. Got a new and so there's a lot of pros and cons to various things. Although with an XL engine, you could pack a lot more weapons onto that. You could make a lot of you could turn a lot more mechs into slag before they even do that the amount of damage necessary to even get into the torso's uh critical slots. So, uh, for the most part, if I had the option for the XL engine, I usually went for it. Now, in this game, they don't get that granular and they don't tell you what mechs have XL engines or not. But, for example, the Phoenix Hawk 1B, I am almost positive that this mech has an XL engine. So, you get end up with a lot more space to pack stuff in, which is why this version of the Phoenix Hawk has an ER PPC, it has an ER large laser, it's got all this crazy shit. Uh, it's much more heavily armed than the more, the newer, shittier version uh, where all the technology was lost. And so, yeah, for this game especially, an XL engine really has no downside. It's just the fact that they're rare and very few mechs have them. And so the rarity ends up being the drawback. It's, they're just really hard to get, but they're, if you can get a mech with an XL engine, there is zero downside. And if you've got engines with double heatsink technology, in other words, the Royal versions like that does, the engine itself has, I think 10 heatsinks built into it. And so if you get an advanced engine with the double heatsink technology built in, well, instead of sinking 10 heat, that same engine for the same weight now sinks 20 heat so just it's absolutely phenomenal all right we've arrived at panzer commander we're ready to proceed with our current contract <clears throat> okay atlas marauder yep let's go with the yes for this mission we are absolutely going with that archer we are going to put ice tray back in the marauder or no we're, we're going to put in glitch back in the marauder and we are putting Renegade back in the Highlander where I belong. And we are going to deploy. And for anybody who uh, watched the earlier stream of this, this map is going to look very familiar. So under Ostergaard's orders, he's the Torian Commodore whose son we killed when we destroyed the smuggling ship Newgrange when they failed to surrender. And now the Torians are attacking our famine relief effort on Panzer. So they're literally attacking like a, like food logistics. <laughs> it's not even a military target. 
Uh, if they succeed, mass starvation will follow. They're trying to bait me into redirecting the main army and taking the field myself. But I can't let them do that. If our people are to survive, you will have to save them. Uh, so yeah, we had to deal with hunger back home on Nassau Heights. Stealing food and starving people is low, even for a monster like Ostergaard. Yeah, so this guy's this guy is just a, a total uh, douche canoe. So Panzer's in a desperate shape, Commander. Famine is a fact of life here, and the Torians have targeted the spaceport we've been using to deliver emergency supplies. As we speak, the Torians have several waves of APCs, complete with battle mech escorts, en route to the spaceport's command center. If they succeed in taking it, they'll lock down our supply ships and the people of Panzer will starve. The spaceport's turrets are down, and House Decimus is in no position to repel an attack of this magnitude. It's on us to stop them. You will defend the spaceport against the Torians and prevent their troop transports from reaching the command center. They're likely to send a detachment of our uh, for our wounded as well. Yeah, medic, literally a medical hospital up here. So if you could spare a mech or two, please consider sending them to protect our barracks. We've suffered too many casualties to defend ourselves. The Torians have been hitting us hard, Commander McDougal. The second is nearly gone, but I do still have a few non-combatant personnel left under my command, and we'll do what we can to defend the restoration. If you could stop all the Torian APCs from reaching the command center, my people will get the spaceport's turrets up and running for you. I'm afraid that we won't be able to make a move if any of them uh, get through, though. I just don't have the numbers to go against Torian Marines in a ground fight. Best of luck, Commander. So... Transports, Commander. You're the only one who can. So this may not look familiar from this view, but if we cruise up here, roll up here, and turn around, lo and behold, <laughs> this is where we invaded the spaceport from when we first started. We land, we dropped here. <clears throat> this is where we had to deal with those SRM carriers. Cruise down here fight our way past all of the mechs that were, you know, as they, as we tried to descend the hill and we ended up really doing well in that combat. And this was the command center that we had to, this was the, uh, command array that we, uh, had to, uh, deal with in order to land, uh, make sure that the Torian or the, um, the rest, uh, rather not the restoration, the direct re reinforcements couldn't land because the battle had basically been won. And so now we have to defend the spaceport against the Torians who uh, have decided that shooting, uh, making people starve by shooting essentially non-combatants is a fun time. So yeah, we have a couple of various objectives here, like she kind of outlined. Now, I remember there is going to be a dropship that's going to drop two APCs down here. So I'm going to need to make sure somebody is back here to deal with that. Uh, the main wave of Torian assault mechs that, uh, or, or various Torian attackers are going to kind of come through here. So I definitely want to make sure glitches around this area. Thankfully, the area is winter. So that will allow us to draw fire and really help out things. So I'm thinking it is going to be good to have the Marauder and the Atlas down here as sort of frontline units to defend against this because this is what we have to make sure that the APCs can't reach. We have to make sure they can't reach this command center. And I guess the decision I have to make, I will have to send one mech up here, but I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have Renegade go up here to deal with that because there will be mechs to deal with up here that we'll have to fight. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have our uh, Medusa and the Archer fall back here because those LRMs will be able to still pummel anything in this general area and then he'll be able to deal with the APCs that show up down here. I think that's the plan I'm going to go with. So for now, and hopefully that's a good plan. So we're going to jump over here and I'm going to guard. Yep, here they here they come. <laughs> that didn't take long. So we're going to sprint up here and I'll at least be in the woods. I don't want to I don't want to overextend up this way because, again, there's going to be shit coming out from this direction. There's going to be one APC in particular that I'll want to make sure I have line of sight to. So we're just going to cruise over here, and I'm probably not going to move a whole lot 
from that position. Uh, at least not really. So we'll see. Uh, I don't... Unfortunately, this is the first... The first round. So even though I could theoretically move and attack this APC, I don't think it's going to let me do that. It would be nice if it let me do that. I do not believe it's going to let me do that. But let's... Let's just see. Let's just see. I think it's just going to make me brace. Yeah, it is. It would be real. It would have been really nice if they had let me do that, though. But anyway, so I'm just going to run because it's not going to fucking matter. Location confirmed. I'm going to redeploy fast here. There it is. Hey, freak bot. There it is. Yep. The Torians have just dropped a transport full of commandos. If they make it to our barracks, my injured soldiers are as good as dead. Yeah, they're literally going to just shoot the, uh, hey, Saram, how are you? Uh, <laughs> are as good as dead. So please, Commander, stop him if you can. Uh, so let's, let's hit done with that. And we will, uh, okay, let's let this, let's, we'll let the enemy movements go. And then we'll switch to just chatting and we'll welcome everybody. Uh, then shoot those fuckers dead. Yeah, they will. <laughs> we are, we are going to absolutely shoot these fuckers dead if we can. Uh, so I'm going to re, re-explain. Uh, it's funny. If only I had waited a second to do that full explanation, because I basically just explained how I plan to do this entire mission. So yeah, let's uh, let's cruise over here and let's go to just chatting. Welcome, welcome Raiders. Uh, I think everybody already knows me, but we'll do the Twitch uh, social convention of saying greetings. Uh, I am Resplendent Seraph. I'm streaming Battletech. I generally stream RPGs. I don't really consider myself a variety streamer per se, but I definitely have some variety in games that I play. Again, do it again! <laughs> oh, I don't have really a good sound effect for that, but uh, but that is okay. Uh, let's do a shout out for One-Eyed Freak Bot. So I thank you for the raid. Did you end up finding the Moon Pearl and the... um? Because I know you were looking for the Moon Pearl and... Oh God, one of the other really important items for the randomizer and the game kept fucking you over and just giving you rupees. Uh, I found pretty much everything you needed. So you found the moon pearl and the other item then uh, I would guess from that. Uh, <laughs> Rob the wonderful. Good. My, I'm starting to learn how to type again. So <laughs> one of the fun things about not using my arm for like three months, uh, last, last month or last year rather. And, uh, <laughs> Having my right arm literally disabled from a uh, from a from a structural failure in my neck, uh, I've had to essentially relearn how to use my right arm in a lot of cases. But I, since February, uh, I would say no, no, basically since my my surgery in, on January eight, um, I've been using my right arm basically since January eight. So it's just been figuring out how to how to use stuff again. Uh, we ended the stream by murdering Agonim. Light world is clear. Nice, very nice. Oh, so nice. Let's see if I got that right. I probably didn't get that right. No, I meant to type ZH Darkstar. What did I, what did I type? Oh, I just, I just, I just, anyway, let's, let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, Darkstar is looking a little different. <laughs> yeah, it would, it would help if I typed your, I was just, I was just literally saying how much better I got at typing. And I'm like, what, what happened there? And, uh, no, I just hit the wrong, I totally hit the wrong keys there. Uh, that would, that will, that'll teach me to get ahead of myself and talk smack. <laughs> Appendage is overrated. Yeah. Yeah. No, def definitely a uh, ghosty. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, so yeah, I definitely, definitely no longer take having two, uh, two working limbs for granted. Um, yeah, Maxi, Maxi uh, dropped in earlier, so let's give Maxi a good shout out. Now is a good time for that. And uh, I think we're getting everybody here. Actually, this is a good chance to ask. Um, we're almost there. Uh, so every so often we talk, you come up with conversations, Saran, because you're obviously awesome. And uh, we frequently wonder uh, if she ever, if you ever log into Twitch and see a bunch of shout outs from like our channels and we also, we frequently wonder like, I wasn't even in their chat that day. Why, why am I getting a shout out? <laughs> so I don't know if you see that or not. 
And Kara already got himself. I was just about to get you. Don't worry, I didn't forget you. But but Kara Kara got him. <laughs> She'd be like, ah, yes, excellent. Uh, all right. So now uh, I was literally just thinking. Uh, shout out Kara, but he took care of it. Is there anybody else that streams? Uh, I don't think so. Deep Fry is in here, but I don't think uh, he or she streams. Uh, and Phoenix is gone. So yes, all right, that takes care of all of that. Kara with the shameless self-plug. It's all right, I was gonna get to him anyway. Uh, so yes, uh, I don't see shout outs of you. Ah, if you use shout out, I'll see it. Ah, that gets it. So, uh... <laughs> oh, do I have, do I have, uh... do I have some sort of censorship uh, thing on chat? Or did Kara, being a good mod, set up my chat to prevent uh, good parameters because I originally didn't really have any uh, protections on my chat and Kara was like, oh, you you need these. And he, he stayed up one night and like spent like an hour protecting my chat. <laughs> I tried typing DVA. Oh, it thought it was a link and protect. Yeah, because link protection is still in there. Uh, so yeah, no, Kara, Kara is always looking out. So I do, you do, I do appreciate him. Obviously, he's one of the mods on my channel. He's definitely one of my one of my absolute VIPs and I, and I do appreciate him and Freakbot especially for helping me get set up on Twitch, but everybody I do, I do actually have a, a vast, uh, wealth and repository of gratitude, uh, for, for the community and you guys are just awesome. And I'm very, very appreciative. Um, is that censorship? On? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I figured, um, sending it to the wild west was probably a bad idea, but I didn't, I didn't really do anything to protect that. But Kara, Kara had my back. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, if, if people aren't being idiots, then I, I pretty much just kind of allow it. Um, I figure we've, we've got good karma and good vibes in here. So I, I feel like everybody's pretty awesome. And, and so far it hasn't necessitated any kind of, uh, <laughs> that's a constant in life. Yes. <laughs> I am the mod and also the biggest violator of the rule. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, April Fool's have <laughs> Overwatch. Uh, yes, yes. We were talking about that, the April Fool's event. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. We really, yeah, really, 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 really got to worry about her. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, so yeah, that gets everybody. Let's go back to in game here as we start getting, uh, things sorted. So I'm glad that, uh, the randomizer went well. I know Freakbot had to start over cause he forgot where he, where he was. And I don't blame him cause I totally forgot where he was. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, oh wait, thank you. I, I do appreciate that. <laughs> um, See, we, we do laugh a lot and, uh, we, we, we do have a lot of real high, uh, we have a really good time here on, here on the Empyrean, uh, resplendent, cha uh, Seraph channel here. Uh, pasta slinger. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, so yes, uh, Cleo wandered through a little bit earlier. Uh, is this the part where you guys claim I do things I do do? <laughs> yes, I believe, Seraph, that is... That is certainly true. Uh, good times are mandatory. Exactly. Um, so, this map will look familiar for anybody that has watched my Battletech playthroughs. And uh, while, while uh, we, we continue to have a very active and fun chat, Satorian mechs have already shown up, but when we first played on this map, it looked something like this. And we landed around here and we came in here and we initially had to deal with a bunch of transports over here, including those godforsaken SRM carriers. Uh, so we sent them back to hell as soon as we possibly could because those things are awful and they will ruin us if they even get one salvo off. So we, we dispensed them with extreme prejudice and uh, then we descended down the hill here where we had a uh, pretty much a running skirmish down here while the original directorate units were but fortunately we got the turrets back online and we laid waste to them so the taurians have taken out the turrets much like we did and uh this was the command center the satellite array we have since repaired it uh but that's not a target or an objective of this mission instead 
here is the command center which we basically have to protect we have to um essentially stop the apc from reaching the barracks but we also have to destroy all attackers because uh, we just have to defend the spaceport and keep them from uh destroying the famine relief effort Kara wouldn't lie how could you <laughs> yeah and uh <laughs> you guys are awesome uh but we also have a secondary objective of the uh, mash unit over here with all of the Arano restoration wounded the Torians have landed up here somewhere we literally just watched them land and uh they're out outside of sensor range at the moment but we know they're up there because we saw them land and they're going to come for here and essentially to just send some Marines to uh, kill all of the helpless and literally unarmed wounded at the moment. So yeah, uh, it's a shit show. Uh, in short, <laughs> you guys have walked into a shit show. I'm gonna just gonna reserve and let them move once and figure out what I'm doing here. They are going to move. So the Torians are continuing to advance and we'll see what's going here because the APCs can't uh, benefit from cover. A couple of rounds on Overwatch. Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. Reporting. Minimal damage. Minimal damage. Perfect. Okay. So I think at this point, we'll see what we're going to try and do. We got a commando coming in on this way. The APC, the sleep near APC, that is absolutely our priority target. So what I may do here is let's have Renegade. Can't cruise up here. I think if I go here, hmm. Yeah, I'm really kind of out of luck here. I may want to just come here. Actually, I may just stay up here a little out of sight and really, you know what? I may just stay up here. Let's do, yeah, let's do vigilance. So at least I'm protected. And we will open fire on the sleep near APC and hopefully we'll do enough damage to it to... Ooh, machine gun ammo. We may just blow this up, up outright. Let's try. Oof. We didn't do it. We probably... No, we may... Okay, good. We got it. <laughs> Renegade Lorenzo Lamas. <laughs> you know, I wonder how many people would even get that reference. That's not what I was going for with this, but... Um, but I was watching a decent amount of Renegade. You know, it may have been in my head. I can't, I can't deny that. Because I, I was... I was actually watching that on Amazon Prime before they put the commercial up. Um, I wasn't I wasn't necessarily going for that, but yeah. <laughs> you know who knows, right? You know, you never know subconsciously what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna go over here, and Roger. Um, I just thought it was a cool name. Mm, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Sarah plays hide the salami with the troops. <laughs> So let's see. Uh, all right, so we got a Wolverine, we got a Jenner. Those are gonna be a, those are gonna be a problem over there later. Uh, this really should be enough to take care of the APC. Let's try and take out as many of these as possible. Yep, good. All right. We already destroyed two of them. We got we have four to go. Kara plays Overwatch now. I was actually talking about um, to Maxi about that a little earlier. I gotta I gotta install Overwatch. I think that'd be fun. Although I freely admit, if I start playing that, I will probably really suck at it. <laughs> I am especially not as good as uh, Maxi is. He he is he's really good. I know he's gonna be humble and be like, yeah, you know, I'm alright or something. But but no, he's he, he's seriously he is. He is. Um, let us actually, let's reserve and see if any easier targets show up. Um, so I think I actually had Warframe installed. Uh, I just have to check, uh, Steam. Uh, I just haven't played, uh, Warframe. It's, it's one of those things I installed, but never played. <laughs> um, so yeah, both of those I think would be really fun. Warframe looks like a blast. I've seen War uh, Sarum play it a bunch of times. Uh, Steam, uh, Twitch actually recommends a bunch of Warframe streamers to me now. And, and thanks to watching, Serum, I've got a bunch of Warframe drops. So I feel like, like, there really should be an incentive to play this. Uh, all right. So, oh, I can't. Ooh, maybe. Maybe we go here. 
Yeah, maybe, maybe we go up here. Although I should probably do vigilance. Although I could just wait and shoot this APC as it comes through next round. Let's see, precision strike. Yeah, that's really, that's, that's a bollocks position. This just, this just stinks. Where I'm at right now is not bad. I feel like that's a waste of a, a move. Kind of want to go here and just see if maybe I could take out this APC from here. But I feel like that's just being impatient for the sake of being impatient. Maybe I should just move here. That way I technically move. Maybe even reposition here. And good grief. Do I have a better do I have a better target over here? No, these are all really bad targets. So maybe I should just have her brace. That might actually I might just be better off just not moving and just bracing and being a rock and seeing if any of them just waste shots firing at me and turning behemoth at the moment into a tank. I actually kind of like that plan. I hear ya. The only advantage of going up here is then at least Glitch would be able to see that, but I, I kind of like the idea of just staying put here. Maybe I'll just stay here and... Maybe I'll just stay here and shoot the Wolverine, and I'll just shoot with the auto cannon. Yeah, you know what? Let's just advance ever so fight. slightly. We'll shoot the Wolverine with the auto cannon. But I'll only shoot with the auto cannon, so I do full damage. And we'll just go here for right now. All right, that works. Uh... Yay, drops! <laughs> That's kind of crazy! And used to play Overwatch 1, Kara Josu. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Kara, I, I didn't realize uh, Kara played Overwatch uh, since 1 either. That's pretty cool. Ready for orders. Yeah, let's just brace. We'll be patient. We'll be we'll be tactful in our approach for things. Because I do think the enemy will attack that is why I activated Vigilance for that. So I still had 40% damage reduction sticking out like a sore thumb on that rock outcropping. So I'm glad I did that. That's probably... Oh, it's a commando. So a commando is a really light mech, but it does pack a good punch. It's almost like a little shotgun thing. I would call it the mech version of a shotgun. It can hurt you if you ignore them. Yeah, be my guest. Shoot the Atlas at, with 60% damage reduction with all of its armor. Please do. Although it missed a bunch, probably because of that really good gyro we upgraded it with. So I don't see the other APCs. There should be... There are going to be four of them. So we got a commando running over here. Although why it's running over there, not really sure. Might want to have Medusa just shoot that commando from here. Um, yeah, that actually might be the best use of Medusa's talents for right now. Because Behemoth will be able to shoot that vehicle when it advances next, uh, next initiative phase. So that'll be the plan there. We'll have two, PC, two APCs showing up around here. Glitch will be able to fire at one of them. Medusa will take out the other. And that'll be the plan for those two. That'll be... That's... So that's four. That's five. I don't know where the sixth APC is. I'll bet you the sixth... I'll bet you the sixth APC is still up here somewhere. So... That being the case, I do like the idea of going down here and at least messing up that commando. We've got enough... We've got enough resolve for it. Let's do it. Can you had her, uh, can you handle a uh, short mech as a shot mech? Yes. <laughs> you know what? I love that. We're doing that. <laughs> Thank you, Saram. That's the, the commandos are now shot mechs. <laughs> I love that. Uh, can you handle, uh, Plat Masters players, Karajitsu, or maybe Saram needs to join too, so my quick play MMR doesn't ruin anything. I'm guessing that's all Overwatch jargon because I understood, like, I understood the words but I didn't understand the context of the meeting. <laughs> Do a couple of sessions, get used to all the roles again. Should be good. Cool. Yay! Yeah, let's let's make this commando's life miserable. We're gonna we're gonna dump ordnance from the other side of the map, and this is why I specifically brought that archer to that spot. Yes, 
Perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the smell of slag in the morning. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So yeah, let's jump over here. Oof, that's not good. So let's not jump there. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. We'll jump over here and we'll we'll go for the Jenner. We'll go for this Jenner. I just have to make sure that this flanking commando, which I suspect I'm going to have the archer deal with in all due time, can't completely outflank me. Because what I don't want are combatants on the other side to be able to um, shoot at my back. So I'm going to do vigilance again. Definitely want that Highlander to be a, a high value target. Uh, well, that's not great, but they're lasers, so I might I might just not shoot the LRMs. Nah, you know what? I've got plenty of ammo. Let's do it. Let's try and wow. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. All right, we made up for it a little bit on the end on the back end of that. Missing with the gauze rifle kind of sucked, but oh well. I feel like we had to take our shot there. I might have glitched take a shot with the... Um, oh, the trebuchet's got to be... All right, you know what? The trebuchet is what I'm going to shoot at with the marauder. But Dex did no damage thanks to being braced. That ended up being a fantastic decision. So... Oh, I can't, can't really back up into there. All right, but if I go here... Oh, I'm showing my back to all of those. Yeah, all right. I guess we'll do this. That is not perfect, but we'll have to make that work. On my way. It already shot, so uh, I could join Maxi and uh, nice. Only okay with you, Akira. Might do normal stream. Yeah, if I if I finally get around to installing Overwatch 2, I will definitely let you guys know. That does sound like a lot of fun. I certainly have fun watching you guys stream. Yep, time to shoot the trebuchet. Even if we don't do a whole lot of damage, just by giving it, impairing its sensors, we'll have it do a lot less damage to us. We had to do that. Okay, now that's going to be a much better target. I actually did not think it could get that far. Oh my god. Wow, okay. So I'm going to have to have her withdraw. Yeah, I know. Enemy transports closed again on the command center. Stop it before it delivers its troops. Ah, that's our other vehicle. Okay. So perfect. All right, we're we've we're in good shape here. I just have to have Behemoth reposition more than I would have liked. And unfortunately, she's probably yeah, she's going to show her back to all that shit. There is nothing I can do about that though because I I really can't. Well, yeah, then I show my back to that. No, that's this is how it's going to have to be. All right, hopefully Hopefully this does not end very poorly. I knew I didn't want to overextend. Yeah, Maxi's a liar. I just heal. It's okay. I'm in a cardboard rank. You can, do it. You can eat. Oh, man. I think I would be level 10 just from all the drops. All right. So, yeah. Uh, the question is, do I, do I even fire the Ultra Auto Cannon? And I feel like I should. Let's not mess around. Let's take out that. Yeah, good. That was that was overkill. That was absolute overkill. But if I missed with the auto cannon and only fired the auto cannon, I'd be kicking myself because then we'd be in real danger of that. Yeah, there's the other transport. <laughs> yep, pick another terrain transport commander. Destroy it. And there are the two transports there. So cool. We now see we now have eyes on all three transports we need to destroy. Yeah, I don't know what role I would be good at with uh, Overwatch 2. Especially as a beginner, but then I don't know if I would want to transition to something. I know when I was playing League of Legends, I enjoyed support characters better. Oh, I prefer you to miss. But I don't know if there's anything else to support other than healing. In, uh, in Overwatch, that would be interesting. Let's see. Okay. Commander. Uh, all right. So if I go over here, 
we can target one and that is what we will do yep Move into position. priority target the vehicle absolutely oh and it's an srm carrier oh my god so one of the reasons why most supports do dps now oh that's that's interesting uh, with my luck, I'd pick the coolest looking character and find out the hard way they're low tier, right? Yeah, Rob, I would probably do the same thing. Uh, play support, but don't actually support. So you can... <laughs> yeah, right? So, SRM carriers. It's a vehicle, but it has this many SRMs. And then even one of these does like uh, six times four. So, 24 points of damage. So 24 times four, eight, ten. Oh my god. So any of these little bastards is outputting 240 points of damage. It is an, an, an unholy amount of ordnance that's just getting you just get pummeled with these little bastards. It's awful. Uh, so yeah, they just, it feels like they just hit you for days. Oh, and I didn't kill the SRM carriers yet. All right, maybe I can get Glitch to shoot it with a PPC. <laughs> of course we get a head hit, but that didn't feel like an SRM to me. So that's good. Um, so here becomes, here comes the question. Uh, I think, let's see, what do I want to do with me? Um, so I could jump up here. I am not inclined. Well, I, although I could shoot the S, that SRM carrier from here. I could, I could. I don't like this plan because I'm sure to take a shot in the back. But taking out the carrier is of critical importance. See, this is where having multi-shot would really come in handy. Because then I could just shoot you with a bunch of things, shoot you with some LRMs, see what happens, and I would still be useful to something. Now I kind of have to waste it around going for the damn, uh, the damn carrier. Although what I could do, I could jump back, have cover, and take... Shot at you with the gauze rifle and the LRM. All right, that's what we're going to do. It is not perfect, but because Medusa didn't do his job, we have to do this. <laughs> Serum SRM. I keep SRM. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. Serum does kind of sound like SRM. <laughs> if Serum ever played Battletech, I highly recommend it, uh, a mech that has a bunch of SRMs in it. Then we could just call it the Serum Mech. And it would it would just mean both. It would be awesome. All right, now we take out the SRM carrier. Not to be confused with Serum Carrier. <laughs> All right, yeah, we had... I mean, that was a mission objective. We had to take that out. And it really didn't deposition me all that much. And I didn't want to advance any further because then I'm getting shot in the back. And it was, that was, so this, this, it worked out. Cool, we got damage reduction and I still have evasion. They're still going to miss with a bunch of things. That was the strategically smart choice. It just wasn't the, it wasn't the, oh, I can't shoot the other one because it's still uh, undetectable. Okay. Can I shoot that other one yet? No, but it will be within range within a bit so I should go over here and I will probably shoot that Wolverine and actually I know exactly what I know exactly what Seraph is going to do we are going to play games we're going to play games with this I don't need to worry about the commando I can just come on come on come on Seraph there we go no! Oh, no! <laughs> the damn mouse moved when I clicked. Oh, that was not what I wanted. I wanted to shoot the Wolverine. Oh. I wanted to have both of these. Oh, that sucks. That is not what I wanted. And you don't get an undo 
like you do with Namco and Capcom if you move wrong. That is devastating. Um, I wanted to take precision, precision strike and try to shoot the Wolverine's head. And that, that stinks, man. That, that, that just stinks. You know what? We'll try and do it again with this, but that's, that's, that sucks. Um, you know what? No, let's just, let's just attack the Jenner from here. And, uh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Mouse fail. I moved with the mouse wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll learn you to mouse the keyboard, right? I mean, normally it works, but yeah, I, I just... I fucked up. Like, what can you do? <laughs> All I can do is laugh about it. Um, Can't undo it, but I wish... I wish this game let you, if you moved wrong, would give you the retry on the move. Like, like what, what's the harm there? Um, That would have been really nice. Oh, well. Oh, oh, well. Anyway, so I could cruise up here and, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not fucking around. I'm, I'm going to advance here and we're going to take out that other. Affirmative. It's obviously not a common problem, but yeah. I feel like to say, uh. <laughs> let's uh let's improve our odds of hitting with this and let's just take out this one. Oh, we missed with that. We missed with it. Oh, but we still got it with the other weapons. All right, it worked out. I will cycle the Ultra Auto Cannon 20 next time. And now all we have to do Ah, there's our final APC. Gotcha. Oh, you know what? I I must have counted one of them twice. All right, seeing another drop of a Torian APC on radar. Perfect. So we got to take out that APC and then we are good to go. We'll get turrets back. We cannot be allowed to take this spaceport. Whatever it takes, we must push them back. And much like uh, the last time we dealt with uh, this particular map, having turrets as allies dramatically changes the complexion of this battlefield. Have you downloaded up? So I got to check. I don't think I've... No, because I have to install Battle.net again. Uh, so I have not yet done that. But you know what? I will try to remember to do that after stream today. Um, depending on how this goes, I might just install that while chatting with you guys while while, ru sh while rubbing down the stream. <laughs> it's okay. Failing one shot gives opportunity to discover a different approach. Yes. <laughs> you always got to look at the bright side. Glass half full approaches and all that. Yep. All right. Oh, we're just going to advance on this thing and we're going to stomp on it. And that will be the end of this APC. Number one, melee attacks generally have higher chances of success. I will flame you in the next stream if you haven't done it. Yes, please do. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Good. Now we got just the one APC that landed. Once that's trashed, we regain all the turrets. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Yeah, our Marauders taking some fire here, but that is okay. We're handling it. <laughs> the only bright side it's the business end of the barrel and in this case the Torians are going to see that a lot <laughs> all right now now this shit just got interesting because yes we are going to do this we're going to have a lot of fun with this um Unfortunately, something I don't even know if anything out there has the has that now granted this commando might line up a shot That's bad But I am going to take this chance because there's only one thing that really can get because this Jenner Has to move over here and then it's got the rock face in the way. So I'm not all that worried about that I'm primarily worried about the commando so it could move back and get a back shot on me But I don't think it's going to at least I'm going to hope not, because I'm going to have Medusa open fire on it from the front, and I'm going to make sure this commando has a lot to worry about from here. 
So I'm going to do Vigilance, confirm. And then I'm also going to do Precision Strike on this. Goodbye, Wolverine. We're just going to delete this mech outright. <laughs> Say goodnight, Gracie. There we go. Uh, do you ever hate it when you screw up and have to call your boss? That's me. Oh, no. Luckily, it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, that's never fun when you have to call your boss and be like, Hey, boss. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's never fun. Even when you got a cool boss and you know they're going to be cool about it, it's never fun to have egg on your face or have to eat crow. <laughs> that is... That is never fun. So, back in the day, there was this awesome, almost like webcomic-like thing called the website is down. And it's... <laughs> yeah, no, no, never. <laughs> uh, you're lucky. It, 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 I don't know if that's sarcasm or not, but but yeah, your your boss would not be... He is a, he's a general cool dude, but I would never, I would never, never, never want to call FreakBot's boss and be like, hey man, I effed up. Oops. I don't think he would be... I don't think he would be nearly as good-natured about it as my boss has on things of like... Oh, God. Here we go. Um, and yeah, yeah, there, there have been a couple of fun ones and not... And things that at the time didn't seem like it was a big deal, but just sometimes you just get some bad luck with, uh, with things. It was only in hindsight where I'm like, oh, God, that was... That was terrible, and I would do anything to undo that. <laughs> All right, so let's go up to the Shrek PPC carrier here. Um, hey, boss. I really like all the way you're running things. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, you gotta butter them up first. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, man. All right, so we, we yeah, we got to take out the APC first. Uh, unfortunately, that PPC carrier is going to be not fun to deal with, but the APC is what we absolutely have to destroy. Yes, and in fact, I may even precision strike this. It's not necessary, but I want to have the higher percentage chance. I do not want to mess around. I want this APC dead. We need those turrets. Perfect. Objective complete. Knocked out a vehicle. Perfect. And at the end of this turn, the Marines will no longer be defending the base. They'll now get to repair the turrets. Yeah, I'm going to take one on the chin here. Oh, oh. That would be really bad if she gets killed by that. Uh, that would not be fun. Uh, all right. So, you know what? Actually, I may... I think I fired with that last turn. No, I need to reset the auto cannon. That is okay. Let's... Let's go over. I don't think there's anything over here. So, yeah, we're just going to reposition and we will. Yeah, we're going to reposition. We're going to shoot that, but we are not going to fire the auto cannon. We're just going to fire the medium lasers and missiles and see what kind of damage we could put into this carrier here. We may still kill the carrier depending on. All right. Yeah, we got lucky with that. I hate when my immediately supervisor catches me screwing up. She used to be a teacher and it shows. <laughs> uh, uh, right? That's, that's, uh, they, it's like uncanny timing. It's a sixth sense, I swear. All terrain APCs are down, Commander. Hold tight. We're bringing the turrets online now. That is a beautiful thing. All right, so now, yeah, now they're going to fire at the turrets because now they're online. So now they'd have more to deal with than just me. Yep, it's, it's going for the rear attack. I had a feeling it would. It's it's okay. I, I That was an acceptable measure of risk to take out that Wolverine that had been previously undamaged entirely. But nothing else should be able to get that rear attack. I would do that. I would I would continue. I would make that trade every time out. All right, jumping, let's cruise up here and let's take out more mechs. Let us see, I think, I think I like the idea of just showing up here and laying waste. See, that's the other, man, I'm really regretting not doing um, the multi-shot with this, but so it goes, so it goes. Let's, 
let's go for the commando here. Let's have fun. The main reason why we've got negatives to hit with the gauze rifle and the LRM is because I'm within minimum range. It is what it is, but I can precise shot. And we'll still hit with most of these things. You know what? Yeah, I've got enough LRMs. Let's go through the torso. Blew the torso off right, and this will be the end of the commando. Good night. We have this well in hand. We still have the APCs. Yep. Oh, yeah, there it is. The Torians are closing in on that barracks. If they take it, our wounded soldiers will be slaughtered. We have to take out that mech. Or that vehicle, rather. It's absolutely critical. So, <laughs> fun timing. Uh, actually, oh, I'm out of range of it. Oh, that sucks. I am out of range of it. All right, so am I shooting the Panther? Well, let's advance. And we'll shoot one of them. The good news is the Highlander will be able to go first. And do we, we just try, oh wow, we could really destroy that Jenner. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do here. Let's, yeah, let's Alpha Strike the Jenner. It's not surviving this. That's just way too many missiles. <laughs> One less target. I'm actually surprised that treb yeah, the trebuchet is backing off. Oh, wow. Going after the turret. Yeah, please go after the turret instead of me. It is going to destroy the turret. Oh, well. See, so, yeah, story time. Seraph was doing a... Uh, Good to go. Can't... Wow, I can't target anything this turn. Wow. Uh. Okay, well, you know what? Let's have fun with that. Yeah, we'll just sprint. We'll cool off. You won't be able to hide next turn. Works for me. And now the turrets get to go. Have fun being sensor locked. Receiving you. Wow, I cannot. I really can't fire at the other one. Wow. All right. You know what? Fine. Just shoot the LRMs at the trebuchet. Because even if I sprint, I'm not going to get up there. You know, I'll save story time for when we're traveling through space and we got a lot of time to travel. <laughs> but remember, remind, remind me about story time. <laughs> aye, aye. That works. We'll cool off this turn, too. Now it looks like we might get a critical hit. There we go. Even better. We destroyed a location. Reporting. We might even knock that mech. Oh, we didn't knock the mech down. But the turrets might. Oh, the turret is going to knock it down. Have fun getting knocked down, Trebuchet. Oh, the turret may destroy the APC. Oh, <laughs> there we go. The turret got it. You've done it, Commander. Are people safe thanks to you? Well, I mean, I guess because we got the turrets up and running. <laughs> we'll never forget what you've done for us today. I would have destroyed it with my Highlander in the next turn, but... This is okay. That's all right. I can shoot the Panther with my Highlander instead. Or with the Archer. Yeah, let's shoot the Panther with the Archer. Missile time! In the Kia Pizza time. Firing on target. Yeah, it's a lot of... It's just a lot of missiles. And thanks to the targeting computer we added to it, so many of them more hit. Like either in, in both in tabletop and this game, you're generally not hitting with 95% or in essentially your entire complement of LRMs. That just doesn't happen. Unless like in tabletop, you roll uh, 12 on 2d6. So, I mean, it can happen, but it's rare. Wow, did I not kill its head? That's amazing. I didn't hit its head. Okay, fine. Whatever. 
I don't think this panther is going to survive this particular assault. Let's just overlook and fire because that torso is already destroyed. Well, we destroyed the torso and the leg and there's the rest of this. <laughs> Oh, the turret made to. Oh, no, the turret did not take my kill. Yes, Commander. But now it's over. Location confirmed. Yeah, the trebuchet realized it couldn't just hang out over behind there because the turrets and I could fire LRMs at it all day. Although, what it really expected from that, I don't know. Uh, that never gets old when you just see location, 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 you know, destroyed. <laughs> you've done it, Commander. You've driven them off. And you've saved all our lives. I'll see to it that this food gets distributed to the people who need it. So this is a mission that could so easily go sideways so many different ways. Either an APC takes your command center, uh, an APC, the Marines get to the hospital. You don't get your turrets back. You're obviously outnumbered at the start. Uh, but... By this point of the game, you have better max and everything else. For the most part, I usually do okay with the Panzer defense mission. Anyway, desperate times are nothing new to us, uh, for us, Lady Arano. Things have been grim since your uncle's coup. And we've made it this far. As long as you keep the supply shipments coming in, we'll find a way to hold out. You'll have our support for as long as I can provide it. That's a promise. So unlike her stupid-ass uncle, Kamea actually is, you know, <laughs> is an actual real leader. Reminds me a lot of Ling from uh, Full Metal Alchemist. It's like, without your subjects, you're not a leader. And apparently, Director Espinoza doesn't get this fucking concept. So yeah, we just made 2.3 2 million C-bills. So yay, money! Got a lot of kills. Uh, and we took basically very little damage, although Glitch took another hit. So she's going to be in the med bay for 10 days. So that's a little lame. Uh, my boss calls me back. Words out of her mouth. Have you broken anything? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, but we all, we all, we all feel that. Ah, uh, that, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, what can you do, man? What, what can you do? Uh, let's see. What good? All right, we'll take the... Plus 10 damage media blazer. For sure. Good. Well, all right. We'll take the plus six SRM six. And wow. That's, um, yeah, not the greatest salvage drop here, but it's okay. It gave us a plus three gyro last time. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. You're better off just being for I, my, uh, my policy has always been, you know, honesty is the best policy. You're better off just being like upfront with things. I, I think you, I think you did the right thing there. Uh, especially if you got a good boss, that's, that's always the way to go. So now we'll probably have some form of debrief, but, um, or maybe it will just be a quick blurb of do more missions until we're ready for the next one. But even other than the whole, like, and my friend at work calls me a paladin. Uh, he's, he's always laughing at me for being the whole, like, you know, you should do the right thing and all this. But, uh, but besides that, what just from a purely logical standpoint, you never want to try to hide it and then get caught hiding it. Cause then your boss will never trust you again. And, um, and that's just, you know, to summarize, no bueno, <laughs> Lady Arano, I'm looking at a coded message from Lady Centrella. She's reporting increased fleet movement around New Vandenberg. A half a dozen Concord Navy dropships complete with fighter support. Her agents say that they're headed our way. Man, that is, that is just not good. Yeah, nah, she's really chill. Cool. It's always nice to have a chill boss. That makes, that does make life a lot easier. Even if the job isn't like, you know, a cup of tea. Uh, this situation is growing untenable. Yeah, that's that's a lot of dropships and fighter support and just oof. Even if we win every battle, attrition will inevitably take its toil, uh, toll. They'll grind us down to nothing. It's true. Yeah, that's true. If Lord Madeira does his job right, it won't be a problem for much longer. 
I know, Renegade, I know. But while we wait, people are dying. I just had to choose what to spend our dwindling resources on. Emergency relief for half dozen marginal colonies the Torians have hit? Or fuel for our dropship fleet? I chose the fuel. If we can't move our troops, we can't keep fighting. And everything we've built for falls apart. So this is called uh, Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. So when you're in leadership positions and leadership dilemmas, sometimes you're faced with a want or a need. And no matter how painful not getting the want is, you have to take the need. So Lady Kamea is making the correct decision here, even though it's a painful one. This is a no-brainer. You have to choose the job for fuel, because if you can't keep fighting, it's it's game over. And the marginal call and, and the marginal colonies, they're they're gonna not get their emergency relief anyway. Sounds like you did what you had to do. That didn't make it any easier. In about three weeks, the casualty reports will start hitting my desk. I intend to study them, every line, every detail. I, the Sword of Restoration, have just consigned those people to a gruesome fate. The least I could do is remember their names. Yeah, I, I understand the impulse. I really do. This isn't just a form of self-punishment, Renegade. It's about doing what I have to do to keep myself from becoming jaded. It's about remembering. Okay. It's about remembering the people whose lives were cut short and preventing them from normalizing their deaths. Your pardon, Lady Arano, but we've got an encoded HP juice transmission coming in. The point of origin is Goldra. I'm putting it on screen now. Kamea, I've got it. My family's insurance policy. I can't open the files from here, but considering the level of security they were hidden behind, there must be something here worth protecting. <laughs> I'll be damned. Something went right for a change. And now for the bad news. The Directorate is on my tail, and they're gaining. I'm still a couple of steps ahead of them for now. But I need evac as soon as you can provide it. My subdermal transponder is active and broadcasting on restoration frequencies. Nothing could ever be easy, can it? I mean, not even once? I'll do my best to stay alive and on the run until you get here. Whatever happens, I won't let them get their hands on these files. They're the only things that matter now. I need to move Madeira out. And his message. His image flickers from the... Uh... Im uh, Alexander's image flickers and dies as the message comes to an end. Commander, set a course for Gildra. Gildra, I'll be waiting for you there with my battle mech at the ready. We're going to set. Uh, we're going to get Alexander back and recover the evidence he gathered. We have to. The future of the restoration depends on it. So we already have that priority mission. We could just do that now. Um, I mean, unless there's any like really juicy. Ooh, take the bait. We could do this one. We could do the battle against the Directorate. Yeah, we could we could do a quick uh, we could do a quick mission here before we uh, do you know? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, chat. What do you think? Do a quick mission here or do the priority mission and see if we can rescue Alexander? What do you guys think? Uh, let me know while I get myself a water refill. I will be right back. Let's not kick my chair. That, that was lame.
Excellent. All right, I have returned. All right, we're doing the rescue mission. Let's go to extraction. Let's check the store real quick, just in case there's anything good here. I don't think there is, but we'll, we'll do that anyway, since we can... Ooh, yes, finally. Well, you know, that's kind of a lame one. Really? There we go. Free melee damage. Let's take New that. Yeah, anytime it ever actually adds weight, though, it's not really worth it. Although we could get another plus 60 melee damage mod for the one ton. Maybe we'll do that just to turn something from a real puncher. Nah, that's that's probably not worth that's probably not worth the uh, weaponry. Plus 10 DFA damage. Uh, maybe we'll do that one because it's free. So we could do that. Available. All right. That works. We are going to just make sure nobody has any XP left on the table. Let's give you a base melee hit. Good to go. You're already maxed out. Good to go. Standing you by. can't do that. I'm here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's do that. Overheat threshold or... Oh, yeah. Called shot bonus. For sure. Alrighty then. Oh, ship upgrades. We're still doing a ship. Yep, we got an upgrade in progress. That works. Alrighty then, contracts. Rescue mission it is. So uh, I got to get to 50 followers first. Um, but yes, once I once I do that and I qualify for affiliate and uh, Twitch sends me the paperwork, then, uh, then yeah, I'll set that up and we'll have a sub button and life will be good. And then we can do channel rewards and all sorts of fun stuff. It'll be a good time. It'll be a most excellent adventure. Actually, that'll be a good sub uh, sound button thing. Excellent. <laughs> Extraction it is. Let's do it. By your command. Let's go get let's go get our uh, crew member back. So we've got oh, we got oh, black market shakedown. <laughs> As Darius enters the morning brief room, he slams the door behind him. Why can't we just have nice things? I totally relate to that. Uh, the agents who represent the black markets, black market, want us to play the membership fee again. Man, we so we got the access to the black market late, and now we're kind of getting hosed where they already want us to do this. And this event, it's really unlike uh, unlucky to get this event so quickly after getting access to the black market. It really does suck. Uh, <laughs> so anyway. Uh, the agents, oh yeah, want, pay, pay again. Sumeria sighs. I suppose it was too much to hope for permanent membership. No honor among thieves, huh? Yang shakes his head. Now, Sumire, don't go calling us thieves. We're just entrepreneurs, right? Darius ignores both of them. Commander, what do you want to do? So we could just refuse to pay, which is the stupidest thing we could ever do. Uh, yeah, 10, 10 do. Yeah, that's right. 10 more. Oh, we're, we are indeed almost there. Uh, right, right on, right? Uh, so we're just going to pay the discounted membership fee. Normally, we'd be paying 250000 for the membership fee, or if we were disliked by the Oregon Pirates, we'd be spending out the nose for the membership fee. But because we're liked, uh, we only have to spend uh, 50000 So that's not too bad. It's really not too bad. Uh, so anyway, we got 19 days transit to Goldra. Oh, we're not even going to have a financial report. So, all right. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll do the arcade here, and then once that's done, we'll upgrade the med bay, uh, either the med bay or the final mech bay. Yeah, we might do the final mech bay. Oh, this is really itchy. Uh, so yeah, so I do IT support for my day job, and uh, one of the one day I went up to uh, a different campus because we also my, my organization does different uh, campuses, and so I'm at a different location. And I'm migrating a user's computer. And uh, anyway, so I copy all of her data onto the external hard drive. That's there. Normal process. And it's a complete, uh, or it's not a new computer, but it's a complete migration. We're doing migrations because there's an OS that's going out of, uh, this was years ago. Uh, but there was an OS that was going out of, um, going into end of life. And so we had to go up to upgrade any computers 
that still were on the old operating system uh, because our security group kind of makes us do that. Otherwise, they'll disable the port. And so I'm up there. And of course, we don't have money for a new computer at that point. So I go up there. I back up all of her data to the external hard drive. It copies. <laughs> uh, I load our new system image. I'm ready to go. And I go to uh, pull her data off of the external hard drive. And lo and behold, her external hard drive has decided to die the moment after I copied all of the data to it. So, yeah, she was not happy. And that was Seraph's moment of, oh, God, I got to tell this to one to my boss. Uh, yeah, that was that was that was not a fun day. Uh, fortunately, we had some data recovery software and it actually did work. Uh, on that, it just like took two weeks to run, and Seraph had to figure out what what because it didn't rec it didn't recover the data st structures, but I was able to basically get her documents and figure out what was what, and it was but that was that was that was just not that was not fun. I did not know I was going to be able to get everything off of that drive. Um, I'm lucky that I was <laughs> very 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 fucking lucky. Uh, all right, you know what? Maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll do the low G pool. Um, maybe we'll do med base. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's do med bay three. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the because we're gonna do a priority mission, and we'll get paid. So we got this. We've got this. I don't have anything else in the med bay, right? So yeah, that was Seraph's. Got to tell my boss. Something went sideways, and uh, yeah, that that sucked. Yeah, it sucked a lot. <laughs> it's why that external hard drive let me copy it. I have no idea. I wish you had just generated errors copying to it, but not how it went. Hello, cat. I love you, cat. She is literally at my feet. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Oh, and if Kara is still around, uh, I found the bee because Cleo caught a bee and tore its wings off. And it was probably just <laughs> unable. I couldn't hear it because it had no wings at that point. And it was probably just flopping in front of that window. I did eventually find the body, <laughs> the wingless body in front of the windowsill. It was behind her litter. So, yeah, that was that was fun. So that answers that mystery. Oh, this cat. So we've arrived. Let's proceed. Let's do it. Dead drop. We're in orbit of Goldra. We're picking up a transmission on the restoration distress frequency, Commander. The timestamp is marked a couple of hours ago. It's from Lord Madeira. Command, by the time you receive this message, I'll have been captured. Fuck. <laughs> I've got hostiles closing in all around me as I'm recording this. I don't know how much time I have left. Listen, the evidence is hidden in a dead drop. It was the best I could do, given the circumstances. Go to my grandfather's monument. You remember, the place where we laid him to rest, in the mountains. The directorate paved it over and built a structure right over on top of it. Look there, and you'll find what you need. I can hear the sound of splintering hardwood. They're coming through the door, and I'm out of time. I pray that I will see you again, but if I don't, I need you to win this war. Do whatever you have to do. Just finish it. Not for me, but for our people. Goodbye. The image on the view screen cuts out. The only sound you can hear is the hiss of static. I'll start putting together a rescue team. Leave space for me, Renegade. I'm coming with you. First, we recover Alexander. Then we focus on picking up the evidence and getting the hell off of Goldra. I've got Lord Madeira's subdermal transponder signal on my screen. They're moving him, probably in an APC. If we launch mechs now, we might be able to catch up to it. We shouldn't launch until we've learned more about the Op 4. I want to know what we're dropping into. They're already moving him, Commander. We don't have time. I need you to assemble three of your best mech warriors. I'll be joining them in the Atlas we recovered from Castle Nautilus. Time is of the essence. We must retrieve the evidence, and we will bring Lord Madeira home. 
Yeah, I never liked the idea of dropping uh, unaware. So now I've got a decision to make. Do I bring the Marauder and benefit from the improved durability of all the mechs? Or do I bring the Archer and have the ability to have that long range punch no matter where I'm at and have the improved ability to knock stuff over? I am inclined to actually bring the Archer here. I feel like we're we're probably going to be okay. Now, granted, Seraph may regret this decision. Let's find out. Oh, and if you guys have noticed, I did. Oh, yeah, you, it, it's over there. <laughs> uh, I did finally add the follower goal, at least the Twitch built-in one, uh, to the stream so that when things are widescreen, I still have useful space above and below uh, the gameplay. But yeah, when I play uh, when I play either emulated games or things that are like 1080p, it'll still take up the whole screen. But at least this way, I'm not wasting time. So anyway, let's begin this message and message or mission. <laughs> let's begin this message. Uh, let's begin this mission and rescue Alexander here. How are we looking, Darius? Bad news. The APC holding Lord Madeira has already reached the facility ahead. Whatever we're going to do, we need to do it fast. Our arrival won't stay a secret for long. I need Alexander by my side if we're going to beat my uncle and win this war. Cut him out of that facility, Commander. We will get that data after he's recovered. All right, so we, let's take a quick look at the terrain because we always want to size things up. We've got a road over here that goes this way. We've got the facility up here. We've got a longer road over here that extends out of the area of the engagement. And we've also got a facility up here on a mountaintop based on the conversation we had before. That might be what we end up having to go to here. And we've got some sort of complex over here. So I'm going over this as if, you know, we didn't really know what was going on. But uh, anyway, we got to go rescue Lord Madeira here. So let's still advance into the trees if we can. Do what you ask. I'm going to jump. We've got company. We always try to go jumping. Yeah, we can't fire at that. It would be nice if we could, but it won't let us. I... That is a good question. Can I move and get to here? No, mm, but I am a big lumbering target. So let's just advance and at Sorry. least we'll have that in our favor. Glitch, you're on archer duty today. Which unfortunately means you really... Yeah, they'll just do this. We can still have you come up and cover here. Perfect. We're just a little spread out. Should be less vulnerable to stray to stray shots. Excellent. We got a already pre-damaged galleon. That's nice. That was a glancing blow. And that Atlas of hers again is a Star League era mech. So in this universe, old stuff is much better. So this thing is awesome. It's got two ER large lasers, two medium pulse lasers, an auto cannon 20 and an LRM 20 for long range punch. This thing is going to be able to really put a hurting on things. So I'm just debating how I want to do this. I think I'm better off. Man. We really can't target too many things. It really doesn't matter. Since the galleon already went. You know what? Let's try to take out that with just the lasers. Yeah, we got this. Done. Not wasting ammo on it. Okay. <laughs> Sixty ton mech over here. Wonder what that is. I hear ya. 
Well, I could just hop up here and take out that laser turret from here. But I'm inclined to reserve. I'd rather have Behemoth advance in her atlas. We'll have her take out... Yeah, we'll have her advance and take out the turret. See what else is doing. Because we might just have everybody else sprint. And at least they'll have evasion as we cover that. Target acquired. That's gonna take out the turret. Yep. Hello, cat. Hello, fluffy butt. Turret destroyed. What you doing, Chunk Master Three Thousand? They've got a sensor lock on me. <laughs> you guys are hearing all the nicknames I have for my cat, <laughs> including asshole. <laughs> I know I shouldn't call you an asshole, even though you are sometimes. I love you though. Yeah, even when you capture gigantic snakes and bring them in the house. Oh, now you're going to bite my hand. See, that's deserving of that. Oh, shit. All right. Um, Tell me what you need. Yeah. Oh, I could sensor. I could have her sensor lock something. Let's have her sensor lock. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Sort of worried about that. But again, it's got a ton of armor and I... I could afford to do that. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, we'll just cruise over here. We'll advance one bit. And here's the nice part about Glitch right. being in that archer. <laughs> we're going to toggle the one LRM off. And now we're doing full damage to this dragon. Breaching shot. Nice damage. I'm surprised they were able to target Behemoth from that because they couldn't I couldn't see them so they shouldn't have been able to scan me unless the facility can so yeah you know what the facility probably could super lame hmm do we advance or do we just take these guys out from where they stand you know what let's jump up here yeah, you know what? Let's jump up here. Cat, what are you doing? Ah. Okay. Let's take out the more distant turret. Because that dragon is still... Goodbye. That dragon is still way too protected. Oh, I forgot to add Vigilance. Yep, I'm... Um, at least I've got evasion on my side. But I could have had cover or bulwark active. That was a mistake. Good to go. Let's just advance here. Hemoth and command will tail take out the vehicle. Right. On my way. I'm going to target the turret with the L1 LRM-20, and I'm going to target multi-target. Yep. Boom. Done. Uh -huh. That'll take out the sniper turret. And do more damage to the dragon, which has almost no armor left. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, there we go. I love ammo explosions. They're the greatest. Yes, I hear you. Damn. Still can only shoot with LRMs. That's okay. Now in her case, I'll remember vigilance. Multi target. I think I'll save the ammo. But we'll shoot that. Handling multiple opponents. I didn't think that was going to last very long. <laughs> and more damage. Well, that would have been nice. Oh, well. Ready for orders. Let's see. 
I get closer? That I like. All right. Let's advance. On the move. Let's have Behemoth finish it off. I couldn't get Kamea that close, but I could certainly get Behemoth that close. Good night, Gracie. Uh, shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll save my AC-20 ammo. Locking on. The defenders are eliminated. Now secure that base so we can extract Alexander. Tango down. And unfortunately, we have to send all of our units in there. That part sucks. Standing by. Yeah. Taking her to top speed. All right, Maxie. Have a good one, man. Thanks for dropping by. Always a pleasure to see you. Now I hear that Renegade theme song. Shit. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what can I do for you? Fucking peak Spike TV uh, days. <laughs> no shooting. That intro would only work on Spike TV. It would never work on any other network. If I remember correctly, it had very little to even do with the show. Yeah, we'll just get up here. Rescue Alexander with one out of four units. Jump in there? I can jump in there, so that's good. Let's do it. I don't remember how this goes. So do that. Waiting for orders. <sighs> Moving fast. It's unfortunate that we have to be so clustered together. Well done, Commander. Farah, do you have a fix on Lord Madeira's exact location? Working on it, Darius. I just need a minute to... You won't find your lapdog in that facility, however long you search, cousin. Little Alex kneels at my feet as we speak. Get out of here, Kamea! She's using me as bait! It's true, Kamea. Alexander was excellent bait, and now this war comes to an end. New sensor contacts. I've got hostile units converging on your location. Damn you, Victoria. Taking hostages is a coward's move. If you wanted to fight me, you should have come yourself. When I send you to hell, be sure to tell Lord Carosas that. Catalyst did a really nice job making these antagonists really, really hateable. <laughs> oh, that Hunchback could do a lot of damage. The Hunchback is a really well-designed mech. It always seems to punch well above its weight. All right, so we're pretty well defended. Of course, we got these bastards coming in this direction. That could be a problem. So maybe what I'll do is I'll jump this way. Yep, let's do it. We'll kind of angle our way this way, and I'll give them something better to shoot at so they're not shooting the backs of the other mechs. And you know what? We've got the extra. Let's do it. Just take extra shots. We may take out this. Yep, we did. Enemy mech destroyed. Perfect. I that is you. definitely the helpful thing at this stage of the game is being able to just, you know, being able to do that kind of damage in very rapid succession. Which is helpful at this stage because we're always outnumbered 
you need to be able to destroy mechs very, very fucking quickly. Actually, I might... You know what? That's what we're doing. Multi-target. We're going to multi-target these guys. We're going to soften them up. Got it. Soften up both. And of course, the reinforcements are fully armored. But at least it was nice with the, simu uh, with the way the whole scenario played out. The mechs that were here that we took out pretty quickly. You have my attention. Those at least. Oh my god. Uh, all right, fine. Yeah, I can't get to the woods yet. So we'll go here. Yeah, we'll do that. And I'll target the SRM carrier with the missiles and hope we could do something with it. Acknowledged. I'm moving. Yeah, we're going to come fall back to this and we're going to try to defend this turf here. Rather than let them, even though it's, even though we're getting pincered, better than running out in the open terrain here. So the vigilance for now. Multi-target. Yep. And yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Discharging weapon. Let's try to take out that SRM carrier first, if we can. soften up the hunchback we got more mechs over there so we have to destroy all the ambushers Come unfortunately in. actually i might just stand right here and shoot the srm carrier again from the same arc i would rather them between the two targets i would rather them target behemoth than kamea for now yeah, it's not going to destroy it, but we'll do more damage to its armor. Actually, we did get an armor breakthrough. Maybe in one of those locations, we can get a critical hit. And maybe there's some SRM ammo in there to destroy. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Yep. Shoot Behemoth. So unfortunately, we were not able to rescue Alex because Victoria is a snake. And a coward. And as per tradition, the lighter mechs go first. Okay, let's have... Let's clean up this side of the battlefield first. Yeah, let's do that first. Let's try and deal with you. We're already kind of on our side. So let's do all the damage to the same side. We should be able to destroy its torso. Well, we only got through its right arm. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. We still... Still fucked it up nicely. Reading loud and clear. Onto this. I'm moving out. Let's have her do some multi shot here. Let's continue to do some damage. Oh, I'm out, out of range of the SRM carrier. Uh, that's not good. Get anything with the AC 20. Okay. Well, let's. Fine. Let's hit you with the AC 20 since you can't really hit well with that. Multi-target, you with most of that, you with everything else. Yes, that works. Copy that. At this point, let's just, just do as much damage to the entire side as we can. Good. Armor blow through. There we go, nice. That destroyed its right torso and knocked it down. Reporting a critical strike. Hmm. Waiting for orders. Now I've got an interesting decision. You betcha. Right, we 
got a nice little defensive formation here. I could opt to destroy the Wolverine here, but I think what I'm inclined to do is shoot that trebuchet with the LRMs and this with the medium lasers and just see what happens. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Yep, let's do it. Fire. You get a headshot and you get a headshot. Yeah, we could, we could hope. Good, blew off its left arm. Some more damage. I'm not worried on the cold shot on that one. Oh, fuck. The SRM carrier got to shoot. Oh, we're going to watch all that armor just vaporize up Behemoth's mech. I was hoping Behemoth would be able to pull back and go into the uh, forest first. <laughs> not much armor left in that location. So unfortunately, oh, but she's got ace pilot. So. Yeah. Go fuck yourself, SRM. Oh, really? We were that close. We were that close, chat. All right. Yeah, shoot all that. Target confirmed. Let's not mess around, but at least I'll have the ultra auto cannon for the next round. Trashed. And now she can go back in here, and now I'm in cover. Position confirmed. Perfect. New round. We've managed to get to round eight. <laughs> We've put a hurting on that trebuchet already. Hmm. Stupid stray shots. Wow, they're really trying to focus fire on Behemoth here. Is that your best shot? <laughs> but fortunately, it's so well armored that, uh, oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, let's take out the Wolverine. I don't need to you worry about the gauze rifle here. Yeah, let's do that, but I'll save the LRM ammo. Yeah, there was no way that was going to survive. All right, Rob, have a good one. Thank you for coming out as always. Waiting on you, Commander. And now it's time to put a real licking on... On the... Yeah, that Hunchback. Hunchback first. Because it's... It. Its damage potential is still intact. Yeah, critical hit. I don't. If I can avoid, if I can help it, I'd rather that hunchback not fire again. Even though they're only medium lasers, it just has so yeah, like many it. of them that uh, it's just it's just so devastating. Location confirmed. Yeah, we're. We're going to go for the jugular here for that hunchback, and then we'll focus fire on the trebuchet. Uh, actually. Wow, yeah, because you're still not. That's fine. I'll do what you ask. Good, most of that hit, and good. Target eliminated. Receiving you. And... What the hell? Headshot! Going for the jugular. <laughs> I mean, that mech has gotten taken so much damage, I think I'm going to knock it over number one. Critical hit. Wow. I did not knock it over. That's amazing. And that's probably going to be the end of this guy. And let's end this turkey. Engaging target. 
The Directorate must have learned about Lord Madeira's subdermal transponder and cloned the signal. Keep fighting down there. Sumeria and I are working to get his fix on his actual location. Work quickly, Dr. Murad. This could be our only chance at finding him. Enough of these games, Kamea. Do you want to win little Alex back? Come and find me. We'll be waiting for you. Won't we, Lord Madeira? Huh. I'm sorry, Kamea. I evaded capture for as long as I could, but... That sound you just heard was his jaw, Kamea. It was every bit as fragile as I thought it would be. Consider this a promise kept from our first reunion. I'm coming for you, Victoria. Do you hear me? Communication terminated. All right, so let's reserve. I don't see. I actually kind of think that transport landed up here. But until I see them, let's just do done. Flushing heat. Yep, there they are. Here they come. Hmm. Good, they all went first. That works for me. Perfect. So we're going to jump. And, yep, let's get as many direct line of sight as possible. Engaging jump jets. That's the advantage of installing the rangefinder in the Highlander. Let's see. Kentaro or a fire starter? I think we're going to shoot that fire starter. Engaging target. All right. Score to kill right off the bat. Yeah, actually, I'm just going to go up here and. Yeah, it's unfortunate I can't seem to. Ooh, yeah, let's go here and. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Let's spread the joy. Let's spread the love. <laughs> I was about to say spread the joy, but then switched it. Yeah, probably shouldn't. Uh, all right, so you two are actually guarded. So here's how this is going to go. Let's see. Wow. Two fire starters and a Kentaro. Jeez. Right. A? Oh, yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah, you know what? All right. Let's multi target. We'll just do you and you. We'll just do that. Heat management, Line them up and, I'll shoot them down. and we'll Commander. at least do breaching shot on each of them. It's the other one's in the middle and doesn't require a breaching shot. Let's at least soften up you two. Brief. I'm listening. Uh, that. Let's advance. And we'll do something very similar here. Marvelous. All right, I'll probably fire LRMs at you. All right. Multi target. B and C. Let's do this. I'll do what you ask. Essentially, we're just trying to get bang for our buck here, damage-wise. But wilted away a little bit of that one's evasion. And I'll probably have Behemoth just shoot at the Kentaro and hope for critical hits. Because I can't really hit with anything. Well, actually, yeah, I'll just shoot you at the fire starter. I'll just, yeah, I'll just shoot at the fire starter. Done. Open fire. Engaging with target. All right, so this is four against three. We like these odds. Our mechs are better. My pilots are better. 
But these mechs can still hurt us, so we can't take them lightly. And now we just wait for the AI to go. Because <laughs> they all go at once. Minimal damage. What Let us... Oh, yeah, you're, all, you're all kind of clustered together. So, Taro for sure. A, B, and C. Done. Let's do it. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. This ends up being a little more tactical. All right. Better. I think we'll we'll go for the Kentaro here. Engaging target. Done. All right. Now this this particular action is over. Destroyed. Reading you loud and clear. I can't believe that fire starter is still standing. Heavy damage. Holy shit, isn't it? Although I still can only fire LRMs at it, so... Alright, fine. Shoot LRMs. We're probably going to destroy it anyway. On it. Yep. Unless we were really unlucky. One less target. So we still have reinforcements somewhere coming in on our location somewhere. And hopefully Fra finds that transponder. Lady Rano, I've got a fix on Lord Madeira's transponder signal. He's being moved. It looks like they're taking him to the most heavily reinforced directorate stronghold on Gildra. Ms. Meyer, I need you to pick us up in the Leopard. It's the only way we could reach him before it's too late. That's a negative, Lady Arano. I'm reading dozens of anti-aircraft guns and missile turrets around that stronghold. If I tried to fly you in, they'd blow me out of the sky. Damn it. What are our options? If you take off at a dead sprint, you might be able to catch him. It'll be pretty dicey, though. I'm seeing a lot of mechs between you and Lord Madeira, and we'll have no time to retrieve the evidence that he gathered. The evidence can wait. We have... <sighs> Damn it. That intel is vital to our war effort, and it's nearly in our grasp. I... I cannot risk the future of the Reach for one man. Mr. Oliveira, I need you to give me the coordinates of Lord Madeira's dead drop. Forgive me, Alexander, but your rescue will have to wait. Raja, Lady Arano, I'm marking the coordinates on your map now. Commander, we show multiple dropships inbound. As soon as you have the data, get the hell out of there. Every fiber of my being is screaming at me to not abandon Lord Madeira. To drop everything and rescue him, as I know he'd rescue me. In leaving him, I betray myself. It's the right call. And it's what he wanted you to do. For your people. But, Alexander... He'll live. Have faith in that, and press on. It's the only thing you can do. Got it. So now we're going to reposition. I didn't want to talk over their chatter. Yes, I hear you. Man, the only problem with that Atlas too is it is just a lumbering beast. It takes forever to get going. But boy, does the Atlas 2 make a... Yes. Put a lick on things. Same with the Atlas. I mean... I don't think... I actually think the Atlas and the Atlas 2 have the same movement. They, they both go next to nowhere. 
Although the slowest mech in the freaking game is the Annihilator. That thing is like a walking siege tower. But... Like you think that is slow? Holy smokes. Jump. Because at least the Highlander can jump this uh, mountain. Glitch. Waiting for orders. Still don't see anything on scopes. So at this point, we'll just move and race. I'll protect the lower side of the mountain over here. Good. Regenerate some of your heat. Tell me what you, need. you can get to the road. Yep, we have nine rounds to complete the data download in time. And we have to get a mech into this tiny little spot. <laughs> Fortunately, we got a mech with jump jets, so I'll be there in like two rounds. Receiving you. But just the same, I don't want my formation to be too oh. spread apart. Yeah, that was the only problem, I guess, with doing the rescue mission. I didn't remember it being all this long. Otherwise, I would have added that detail just so that... Uh, People can make an informed decision. I'm glad we did this anyway. I'm wide awake anyway. So, uh, but anyway, uh, that's the last inbound hostile drop from the landing force. Uh, we have the window we need to uh, evac. Okay. Destroying my cousin's landing force would show her the cost of her treachery, and I'm willing to pay. However, getting that recovery, getting that, uh, however, getting that, recovering that data is still our priority. Yeah. Uh, however, getting... I think they meant to say, however, recovering that data is still our priority. Not bad, cousin. But I am not finished with you yet. <laughs> oh, Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. Is anybody up here? Not up here for now. Engaging jump jets. Oh, we do have some mechs up here. Yep, we see them now. They're still out of range. Could sensor lock them. 25 and 35 tons, huh? Yeah, let's sensor lock that one. Sensor lock on target. Waiting on you, Commander. <laughs> we'll cruise up here. And we'll just fire one salvo at that Jenner and say hello. Little bastards. That'll teach you. Standing by. And it's same deal here. May has also got breaching shots, so I'll just have her shoot. With her LRM-20. Nice long range shot. Oh my god, only 50%. You know what, we got the resolve. I'll waste it. Fuck it. Just have that many more LRMs hit. By. Yeah, oh, nope. Him. Roger that. Yeah, let's fire more LRMs. More LRMs. This poor Jenner is like, oh my god, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Fought for the wrong side. Nope, <laughs> the commando just went there, probably just spot. Interesting choice for the Jenner. Not that it's going to matter. We're going to jump right here. And I'm probably going to shoot at the Jenner. Because it's already damaged. We're receiving the data now, Lady Arano. Commander, I'm going to have to ask you to keep one of your mechs near that relay until the upload is finished. So in other words, this exact spot.
Yeah, let's do that. These are real low percentage shots, but this Jenner is a light mech. It doesn't have exactly the hardiest of armor. Good, we destroyed it. We had to use some re like effort and resources with morale to do it, but we still took out that Jenner. Uh, yes. What can I do for you? I will advance here. So I don't want to be too far away here. And we'll use the archer. Fire one LRM spread at that commando that thinks he's safe, but he is very, very wrong. <laughs> we already blew off its right arm. Nice. I wonder what what weapon we destroyed on it. Now vehicle's moving. Yeah, they're trying desperately to stop me from this transmission. But this is okay. Yes, I hear you. We'll do that. Fire more at that commando. And I'll probably just have Behemoth, since she really can't do much. Uh, I mean, I could have her fire again, but I'm not really worried about the commando. I'll just have Behemoth run. Although the Behemoth has gotten attacked, so I don't necessarily want her in the, in the lead again. Maybe I'll just have her shoot the commando, actually. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I thought better of it. Just lobbed another spread Location at the com confirmed. at the commando. Although 60% damage reduction, it's only going to do one point of damage each way. I'll check its damage locations. We'll see if it's worth going for a critical hit or not. SRM 2. Nah, I'll just have you brace. Couldn't reposition you in time. I'm not sure what this commando was thinking there, but... Good to go. Uh, whatever. I'm just going to go over here, do vigilance, and I'm going to launch another LRM volley at, uh, at this dipshit. I'll probably just do another this guy. Yeah, we'll fire that at that. There we go. Black Knight could be a problem. The LRM carrier could be a problem, but we will begin. All right. Got it. Breaching shot on the commando. That's already damaged. Nice. We already got its last torso. Man, we're just messing up that commando left and right. And it hasn't even attacked me. It's just trying to spot. Perfect. Nice. I'm going to behemoth engage the Black Knight. The first shot might do some damage because that Black Knight has a lot of ordnance, but the Black Knight can't sink heat for shit. My armor. I'm thinking it's still not going to last. Let's just do a normal mundane attack. Even with the damage reduction, I don't, I just don't see it surviving. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'd softened it up too much. <clears throat> so I still have two rounds that I have to be in, in this. So this round and then the next round. I think we're going to make it. The question is, will we wipe out the op for before I download the data? <laughs> like, seriously. Tell me what you need. I, I might. Yes, yeah, Black Knight is, uh, Black Knight's about to hate his life. Vigilance, because Kamea is mission critical. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll just shoot you with the AC-20 to guarantee the kill. As long as it hits, and this Black Knight's going to take a lot of damage. And fire. 
Oh, come on, Kamea. That would is an easy kill if I you just hit. That just happened. Commander. Good. All right. Well, fine. I'll shoot the Black Knight. And actually what I'll do, we'll go for the cheese shot. Not a hype. But we got it. <laughs> Enemy down. Follow me. Sometimes it's worth it for the headshots, uh, especially with regard to. I hear ya. Oh, uh, all right. Well, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll shoot you with LRMs from over here. Because I've at least got cover here. Fuck you, that's why. I think it's gonna die anyway. Yep. We've destroyed the reinforcements. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. You have and I attention. suspect that's everything. But we'll go up here and we'll brace. I don't think there are any more. Brace. Brace. Uh, you know what? Just in case something shows up. <clears throat> Embrace. Transmission complete, Lady Urano. We have the package in him, and Sumeria is on her way. <clears throat> cool. Yep, and she gets to pick us up. What is this, cousin? You're running, leaving Lord Madeira behind? I thought that you would do anything for each other. I will take him back from you, Victoria. Personally. I look forward to me, Kamea. In the meantime, in the interim, know that your dearest friend will languish as I languished in Lord Corosa's dungeons. I will make him suffer in your stead. Now, mind you, she languished, but she wasn't tortured or abused. In that cell, you know Alexander is going to get his ass kicked in there. I know what I'm abandoning him to, Victoria, as does he. Alexander is more courageous than either of us. And if you hurt him, I will kill you myself. I swear that on my father's name. And alas, we have uh, we have failed to rescue Alexander, but we did get his valuable data. So now let's see what all of that was for. And yeah, there were a lot of fucking mechs on that battlefield, but none of them got past our armor. So we did, we did all right. <laughs> so redeem hydrate with zero. Why well, thank you, Saram. That certainly works. <laughs> I was like, wait, how did she do? How did she do that? And I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> It did take me a second. Ooh, you know what? We'll probably we'll probably just compile this Black Knight, but let's see if anything else is worth it. Uh, I don't think so. We got some good stuff. Yeah, Black Knight it is. Let's assemble our Black Knight. That's actually a really good mech. Thanks to the headshot we got. We still ended up with some other pretty decent salvage. Woohoo! <laughs> Woo, zero points. I'm going to spam it. <laughs> I'm just going to be chugging water. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, man, it's great. So, yeah, we're going to wrap this up, and then we'll figure out who we're going to raid out to. Oh, no, that water almost got refunded. <laughs>
Now, insurance policy. Actually, thank you, Saram, for the redeeming of the hydrate. I did need it more than I thought I did. Dr. Murad, have you gotten that archive cracked open? I want to know what's inside. I want to know it now. Yes, Lady Rano, I just finished cracking the encryption. Thankfully, she's had some experience cracking encryption lately. There's a lot here. Ledgers, spreadsheets, cost analyses, and a single hollow file. I recognize the coding on that file. My father authorized his archivists in House Madeira to install a hollow recording system in Arano Palace before his death. It was meant to preserve an ongoing record of, import, uh, of important diplomatic events. The system must still be active, and Alexander's family had access to it. <laughs> Color me curious. Let's see what kind of blackmail material House Madeira managed to dig up. <laughs> I love Sarum's uh, icons. They're the best. Hang on a second. I'll queue it up on the view screen. Okay, here it comes. I understand your hesitancy, daughter. It's a difficult thing, what I'm asking you to do. But this galaxy is a hard and uncaring place. If our directorate is to thrive, we must be even harder. I have no qualms about killing for the greater glory of the directorate, father. But this? Please... Help me understand. Show me the wisdom in carrying out this attack, because I cannot see it myself. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty proud of them. I made them myself. Oh my, wow. They are, I, I just figured you had to hire a graphic designer to get them. They are so high quality. Uh, yet they, they are really, they're really amazing. Um, brought in your perspective, Victoria. Think beyond the reach, beyond the periphery. Our directorate is growing stronger, but we stand among giants. To the successor states, we are nothing. A tin pot dictatorship on the, in, the, in a galactic backwater. To be ignored or crushed as they please. If we are to survive in the long term, we need a strong ally. But we have nothing to offer in return. We cannot change our circumstances. The reach is comparatively small and poor, and that is how it will remain. What we can do is shift the political balance of the periphery by engineering conflict. We can give ourselves value as a buffer state and an ally of convenience. And by doing this to perdition, you'll create the conflict you seek. And, I, it, and if you don't remember what happened to perdition, things are about to come into place horrifically so right now. Yes. Your target is a port city that serves as the primary supplier of Perdition's aerospace bases. A chemical strike there will look like a backdoor attempt to undermine Calderon's military readiness. He'll assume that the method of attack was chosen for the purpose of plausible deniability. And when he points his finger at House Davian in response, I will quietly approach him with an offer of support. And if this embroils us in a war with the Federated Sons, it won't. Calderon will not strike without proof, and despite his fears to the contrary, the periphery is beneath Hans Davian's notice. We'll be the conquered at silent partners in a cold war that never goes hot, and the Reach will grow stronger than it ever could on his own. And if our attack fails, if I'm caught, then our directorate will perish, and us alongside it. But inaction isn't an option, Victoria. An alliance built on a lie is better than no alliance at all, and our directorate cannot survive indefinitely in a vacuum. I cannot trust a task this sensitive to any mercenary. It has to be someone who truly loves the Reach, and who understands the price of failure. And of course, pointing out how zealously, uh, how zealotry can lead people astray of any kind of, uh, of, of any kind of bent, I don't enjoy ordering you to do this, but I am trying to accomplish in five years what House Serrano should have done across a span of three lifetimes. To safeguard the Reach on such a short timetable, risks must be taken, and sacrifices have to be made. And of course, anybody with half a fucking brain cell functioning at this point would be like, Why? <laughs> Why? You don't have to do this in such a short timetable. Even if you were right, there is no... Like, there is no clear and present danger to the Eregan Reach. He, he's, he's, he's a, he, this guy's a fucking nutcase. But I digress. 
Show me that you are the defender of the realm that I know you to be, and accept this terrible responsibility. Not for me, but for our people. For the Reach. I understand, Father, and I will do what you ask. For the glory of the Reach. The video feed winks out, a test pattern replaces it. Gods, it doesn't even matter what else is in the archive. With this, we can turn the Torians against the Directorate. Protector Calderon will want Espinosa's head on a plate. Damn right he will. And I'm going to sit back, get myself some popcorn, and watch the show. I'll be watching it with you. There's a certain poetry in the idea of, oh, there's a sneeze coming. Will my nose hold out? Nope, it won't. That was random. I'm marking the evidence with my personal seal and sending it to the Torian government. When they respond, we'll find out whether all of this was worth it. But in the meantime, we need to focus on getting Lord Madeira back. He'll be on the throne world. Wouldn't make sense for them to take him anyplace else. Agreed. But if we move on Koromadir directly, the Directorate's naval fleet will attack our flank from their base on Turian. If, on the other hand, we attack and liberate House Barada, there'll be nothing my uncle could do to prevent us from invading Koromadir. We'll have him by the throat. I'll take my leave of you, Renegade. I have allies to rally and an army marshal. The Restoration will summon you when our forces have assembled for the assault. And we'll keep doing our thing until we receive your summons. Back to work, people. If we're going to stage an assault on Tyrion, we're going to need all the firepower we can muster. You all know what that means, so let's get to it. <laughs> the Black Knight 6 KNT is a dedicated energy weapon platform. It really is. It could shell out hellish damage with its beams and shrug off a lot of damage. Just gotta make sure to keep its heat in check. Yeah, you can really do only do one alpha strike and then it's over. And now the yep, now the dragon goes a little faster. Oh, we picked we assembled a trebuchet for our trouble. So that was marvelous. This was a very excellent series of events. Uh we're at we're currently in directorate space, so we will have to leave. But what we will do is we will quit to desktop, we will save and quit. We are going to confirm so we don't lose out on any of that. Uh, progress we just made. That is lovely. Let's see who's on and who we could raid out to. Uh, let's see. Kai Parasite is still playing Final Fantasy. Uh, well, let's see. Um, oh, and Cobra Command is playing Sea of Stars. Okay, Aussie's playing Sea of Thieves. We'll just raid out to Aussie. Uh, that works. That works. Let's see what she's up to. Stream manager, da, 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 da. so let's go over to ending stream. So I'm gonna, this is a good opportunity for me to thank everybody for coming out tonight. We had a good time. I had a good time. Anyway, uh, we did very well. We succeeded in two campaign missions. We advanced the plot. We are now kind of nearing the end game of the campaign. So the next time we stream Battletech, we might actually just beat the, uh, the story campaign. Then we could make a decision of whether or not we want to do uh, the flashpoints afterwards, continue to play it, or what have you. Uh, if people are enjoying it, we could continue to play this. It is a fun game to uh, to play and stream, uh, and I have played kind of the heck out of it, so it is it always uh, it is always nice. So yeah, there's Aussie, and we can get this set up. So let's see channel update. Uh, I am kind of planning to just do my normal Sunday night uh, playthrough, but if I do fancy to play something, whether or not uh, something unscheduled, whether or not it ends up being Saturday or something like that, I'll probably post it up in my Discord or, or Twitter or any of that, that stuff. Oh, actually, this is probably a good time for me to mention. Uh, I have a Twitter. Uh, I've got all that stuff. All of the those uh, socials were up on the screen the whole time, but I will post it in the description of the YouTube video when I post it. Uh, so feel free, like, subscribe, the whole for sure, -ner -ner, all down below. And... Uh, otherwise, I hope everybody has an absolutely... <laughs> oh, thank you. I do appreciate that. Uh, I hope everybody has a great rest of their week. And in the event that I see you sooner, I will see you on the next one. And until next time, ciao.